still. No. Oh. Well, Legion of Friends is waiting for us. I thought that I changed the name. Anyway, maybe I just saw it as an interruption. Either way, um, this is the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. So, uh, welcome. You can watch this stream every Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can watch our sister stream, the Dork Vision stream, on Sundays from 9 p.m. to midnight. I have books on Drive-Thru RPG and more books on the DMs Guild. You can also support me on Patreon slash Noble Crumpet. With that out of the way, let's get into what happened last time in Icewind Dale. Um, Story time. Well, I mean, not much happened directly last time. A lot happened since you've been here, Venric. But well, I've already yes. filled you in. Yes. Um, so, you guys, I believe, are not there on the map. You are over. You've returned to Kaer Dineval, correct? I believe so, yeah. 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 I think the entire group, yeah, we met up at um, one of the taverns or like the pubs to meet up with Venric. Nefro's got a letter. Yes. Um... You guys had. Oh. You guys we had just. We got a letter, so. Yeah, uh, there was nothing to fill you in on Nephros. Nephros got no, a okay, letter. Go. Nephros got a letter. <laughs> Nephros got a letter. I wonder if he'll die. That's how it goes. So, <laughs> you get a letter, you die. <laughs> I opened up the letter. You hear a voice in your head. Authority. <laughs> if you Which, open the letter. We have a wonderful die. sound for that now. <laughs> if you open the letter, you're entitled to a cast prize. Right. Uh, Anyway, so you guys dispatched to the Dorgar at uh, their outpost. Um, you guys faced off against Nildar, who tried to uh, escape from uh, you guys and go back to wherever his base was. Um, but you guys were able to dispatch him. You found a note that confirmed that they are connected to the um, ones that you saw at the ferry at East Haven, because uh, they had sent a letter to them. Um, another letter-themed adventure, it seems. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, after returning all of the stolen goods back to their rightful owners at Kerr Koenig, you guys kind of just got a drink and went back to Kerr Dineval. Uh, deed done. And uh, due to the, uh, the, what is it, the graciousness of the people that had their uh, goods returned, you did get a sled dog out of it. You also oh, stole no. Nildar's sled, so yeah. now you're just missing one dog to be back to normal. I mean... The, the speaker was kind of a dick. Mostly drunk, but mostly a dick. Yeah. Uh, but the speaker wasn't the one that gave you the dog. Oh, I thought he was the one that gave us the dog. That was the was trade the, emporium or whatever. Other... Yeah, that There's was a trade emporium. Dragonborn. No, the, it wasn't a dragonborn. It was somebody you hadn't met at the trade emporium. Ah. Um, you personally hadn't met. The rest of the party did. Anywho. Um, Not important. So you guys are at Kaer Dineval. Let's, uh, guess we can go back there, shall we? I just figured the map would be good to have up for a teeny bit. For because spotting Sam Smorkel. For spotting Sam Smorkel, yes. And, um, of course, uh, last time when you guys had returned to the Free Spirits Tavern, um... You're planning your next moves and whatever. The tavern is now, like, filled with people, uh, who are... Well, excited by the fact that there is free food here, uh, thanks to your cauldron of plenty, uh, giving you guys plenty of free food to hand out to anybody that needs it, and they can get some alcohol if they right. are yeah, so they, inclined. That's free food with drinks. You buy the drinks. Yes. Be, yeah. You gotta. You gotta either BYOB or we get some on tap. <laughs> <laughs> um. But while you guys were celebrating your, well, planning. Your next move, Nephros was handed a note by a mysterious stranger. Uh, they were wearing a, a sort of hooded cloak um, and just shuddered out the door uh, after handing the note to Nephros. Were they hot? Uh, no, they probably looked very cold. Uh, it's Icewind Dale. Mm -hmm. Oak might have been hot. Yeah, it Oak was hard to. Hot. <laughs> That's true. It was hard to tell exactly who they were or what they really looked like. They were they were kind of bundled up. Uh, Nephros, the note, you unfold it, and it looks to be uh, a shipment order um, 
but it's very obvious to you with your thieves' eyes that uh, it is actually an encoded message. Oh, the thieves' camp. Yeah. It says, uh, it explains like there's a shipment of wine, the crates have been resealed, we lost one in transit. Is this a place that we can drop them off? And you intuit this as, is this place safe? I need to lay low for a while. Oh. They All walked right. outside. I'll, uh, Nefros will fold down the note. Sort of say loudly, I'm like, uh, it's, it's just another letter for one of my many admirers. They like to keep Ooh. themselves anonymous. No Nefros one believes you. Please use protection. Uh, let's do contested insight versus um, deception, I guess. What's pers- protection? We can talk about it when you're older. That by shield? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you guys, uh, since Nefro seems to be hiding this uh, from you guys, I would require a check from it. Uh, insight for the rest of you, deception from Nefros. I think this is the night that Venric was also drinking a lot, so I'm going to pass because I, I think I'm just real dumb right now. I mean, you claimed I was lying. Home. Nothing bad happens. No, I didn't. Right? I said ha- take protection. No, Grundle did. Oh. I was just being an asshole. I wasn't really curious. <laughs> I <laughs> can't <laughs> beat that. I was I... just being a child. <laughs> <laughs> Children always do. You jerks. win. <laughs> Challenge you for a natural 20 fight. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> All right, don't get kidnapped by Durgar. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just listen for some some screams outside. I'm just going to bring them in. They're a little bit chilly, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Nephros will saunter out the door and go find this person. Uh, you see footprints leading into an alleyway nearby. It's only like one block away. Yeah, I will go there. All right. You head to the alley and you see the mysterious stranger. Uh, they're kind of just got their arm arms crossed and they have like a cowl over their face there's like a bit of uh moisture and and fog coming out of their like behind their uh their face covering and they look towards you they kind of unfold their arms and wait for you to approach i will approach slowly and i'll strike up a conversation that through thieves can implies that um this tavern is safe to lay low in, and we are friends of those in need. Sure. You saunter over and explain that, oh yeah, uh, this is the right place to drop off your shipment or whatever, and... Yeah. Drop a load! <laughs> this is a safe place to drop a deuce, if you will. The uh, the person just kind of seems to relax a bit. Good. You got it. Uh, I can't say I thank you enough. I heard that you guys were doing some sneaky stuff, but I wasn't sure if I could trust it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're open to those who are seeking refuge, but I think first you're going to have to tell me who you are, or at least where you're coming from, where you know thieves can, and get that kind of information on us. Well, I'm not from Icewind Dale. That's all I really need to know right now. So, nobody in Ten Towns would probably know me. The name is... Well, I go by Grid. Bergeron. Okay. Let me write that down, write that down! Who am I speaking to? Well, I myself am Nefro Silvaton, of the Free Voices of the Dale who run the Free Spirits. But here, if, if you're truly someone of no ill repute as you request, come on, let's get in, let's get you next to the hearth, get you a beer, and you can meet the rest of the crew. So what are you guys? Like, mercenaries? I like to think of us as a roaming band of benevolent adventurers. Heroes of the people. That own a tavern now. Yeah, what do the people want, if not free food and some booze? All right. Fine. Pulls down his cowl and it's like, let's head inside then. Thanks for this. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. We, we can talk. We can talk. All right. Uh, Grid follows you inside. Um, 
Yeah, you guys see Nephros coming in, escorting a man. Ooh, did you kiss yet? Nephros wander in, and he'll uh, say jauntily to Vilma, Oh, no, see that uh, barkeep boy over there? He's more my type. But he, and then he pulls Vilma's ear, like, down close to him a little bit. Ow. Scott, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah, I try I pull your. I grab one of your big tails and pull you down. <laughs> listen, listen, I need you to keep this on the download. But this guy goes by the name of Grid Bergeron. He's someone who knows thieves can and has. He knows some information about us, but doesn't seem to be a threat himself. But he is coming from something dangerous. He needs to lay low for a while. Okay. Did he say good things? I hope. Well, my hope is that if we can sit him down and get some food and some beer in him, he might be a little bit friendlier. I think we need to convince so him that it's actually safe here. He was not threatening. Oh. Well, he's basing off of assumptions he heard. I was just hoping it'd be like, yay, and not suspicious, but... Hey, come on, Vilma, have a little faith. And then behind that faith, keep like all your daggers and my sword and everyone else who's around here. And okay. don't take your eye off him and, you know, always suspect everything he says and you know, don't, don't let your guard down. We might actually be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he just walked up to us and started telling him. <laughs> yeah, so come on, let's get a table. Yeah. Everybody gets one chance. What? Everybody? Benrick's definitely already at a table one? with beer. Maybe so two. You can all just <laughs> crowd around him. Yeah, come on, friend. Take a seat. Take a seat. Grid, uh, Cautiously takes a seat and looks around. It looks like he's trying to identify who your companions are through the crowd. Nephros, who's this one? This one is, and uh, Nephros will turn to him. You know, I'll let him introduce himself. Oh. Hi, I am Venric. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Put my hand out to go and shake his. He just looks at your hand for a second. He ignores it and says, I go by Grid. Okay, I mean, I didn't want to, like, say your name. I didn't know if you want, like, a pseudonym or something. Or... I do not lower my hand. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you my real name anyway. Yeah, good. All right. <clears throat> yeah, me too. I didn't <clears throat> I didn't tell you my real name either. <laughs> I do not lower my hand. Yeah, silvery. Look, it's real rude. Just saying, you know, to leave someone hanging. You're kind of killing my buzz. <sighs> Tom leaves the man hanging, Grid. We're all friends here. Sure. How about he, we get you some spirits? He reluctantly shakes your hand uh, to quiet you. <laughs> divine sense. Something to warm me up would be nice. I would like to divine sense. You divinely sense that there is a human nearby. Okay, that's fine. Ew. <laughs> Look, it's on brand. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Let's, um, let's see if we can maybe get Scorp to grab a few bowls of stew from the kitchen. Where is Skull, by the way? I'm in timeout. He's in timeout again. I he's look in, up to he's the in ceiling. the corner. Hanging <laughs> <laughs> in a birdcage. The corner of the ceiling in a birdcage. We've... <sighs> yeah. this there are some now children canon. in some holes, and, uh, well, he... We told him not to do that, so... <laughs> We've been over this. You're not paid for time and time out. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, well, listen... I'll go get some bowls. The rest of you introduce yourselves. I, I thought I already did that. Did, did I, I gesture to you? Oh, whatever. I, yeah, I did you see my, my gesture? I just go Jester's back into my cups. Over Venric's head. Yeah. Uh, greetings, Grid. I'm Vilma Kovetlutvas. Um, this is our establishment here. Um, tell me, how long have you known Nephros? Ten minutes. Um, <laughs> I see. Oh, new uh, friends. Love at first sight I, uh, is, is what it sounds like to me. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> then what I said. <laughs> just just let me know when I should come back with the bowls. <laughs> so far it's just Vilma talking and Subi and Grundle are just stone-faced sitting oh, at the oh. table. Cup check! And then I want to kick him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a chair. Oh, we'll uh, see. Under the <laughs> table. Under the table. Make a unarmed attack. Uh, you ha he has cover. Okay. Uh, Natural attack. twenty. Natural twenty. 
Bowman unarmed attack be? Just uh, what bonus is that? Is our strength? security officer. It's just going to be your strength. Mm -hmm. No uh, proficiency. Uh, you do not hit his armor class. So you hit the table. On. Good job. God, you succeeded. <laughs> see, it's when you kick the table and you see if the cups rock around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll play outside. You're, you're just a kid, aren't you? No. I died. You guys have, oh. like, the, is this kid on your team? Uh, I'm the security officer. Of course I am. Yeah, you should see yeah. his bag of fingers. <laughs> it's getting quite big. It's getting quite big. I think he has more in there than fingers now. I, I'm, I don't want to remember. From your reputation, I... I just didn't think that one of you was a kid. Reputation? We, we already have a name for ourselves besides what we need? I hope only good things. The free voices of the Dale, I've been hearing about them as I've been exploring ten towns. Clearly our music has reached you. I'm Suvi, and... the flute guy. <laughs> guy. <laughs> Suvi does a very nice flute. I do Wait the rest myself. of it. But... You guys have taken down trolls and what, a white dragon? Yes. Oh, all right, good timing. I'm going to come back with, uh, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. The head of a white dragon? Can I sleight of hand to try and see if I spill any of the soup? <laughs> As I come <laughs> juggling six bowls of stew. Trying to <laughs> sure. Okay. Performance, sir. Chris, can I have a chance to fail, please? Thank right? you. Yes, right, can I get the comedic moment, possibly? I would possibly? like to pour soup on this man. Uh, no, no, you're too yeah. good. Oh, all right, yeah. The, the, the sled, sled did it good. perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> Thanks. Slide right in. Sled. <laughs> nice. All right, perfect. Yeah, so I come by juggling a few wobbly bowls, but catching them in the last couple moments, then put them down on the table. And thank you, Venric. Someone, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't gonna say great job to myself, but I'm glad someone did. I love me. <laughs> that was that was me. Oh, that was, oh, okay. Very impressive. Fantastic. I should have I should have bought and inspired you before you did it. <laughs> Damn! But you did a good job. Carry the soup. <laughs> Toss some soup at your witcher. <laughs> Ugh, all right. So, Bertrand, you say you're not from Icewind Dale. You're traveling around. You clearly don't know where's a good place to find some safe haven. And yet you heard enough buzz from us that you came all the way up here. Well, it wasn't far. I arrived in Bryn Shander. And you got tr in trouble in Bryn Shander? You're looking yeah. for sanctuary, apparently? Yeah, what's your, did you come up here on business? Or? You don't need to know that much about me. I seem to not know as much as I thought I did about you, so I think well, okay. I, well, we know nothing about I think, you. I so. think I think at a minimum we're entitled to know that if we're giving you safe haven here, what we can expect. It's true. If you're going to be associated with us, murder, are you? yeah, you can't be that. Look, all that I want is just some place to lay low, and I can be of help around. Maybe I can okay. wait a few tables or something. Or if you guys are keen on it, um, maybe I could join you in your escapades or something. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to wait tables, you're going to have to really work on your hospitality. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe a few drinks and you'll be better. Well, I'm better at some things than I am at others. Well, it's good for you. But if it's not waiting tables, then there's no point. <laughs> yeah, do you, would you like to list some more skills? Like, what do you do? Besides run from trouble. <laughs> My background is as a spy, so I have lots of skills that could be useful. Mostly uh -huh. in, well, incapacitating people. Okay. Um, well, Nasty that should that. be helpful at a bar, I suppose. I figure it's probably more helpful in your line of work, which is also why I sought you out. If killing trolls something that you do, then... Maybe I can help you kill the next one. 
spy sounds more like something for a city. You, you fight monsters and creatures from other worlds. What are you going to do with that spy network of yours? Nothing. I don't have as much of a network anymore. <laughs> but... Uh. Again. Keep, keep feeding uh. us it. No, bit by bit, we'll find out. You I see what it is. Slip. <laughs> no, he's just scared. I bet you he's one of them Zentarum folk. Oh. Yes. I'll whisper well, the Zentarum part. What's a Zentarum? They up, sound like assholes. <laughs> uh, can we see his reaction to the to make an insight check? The Z word. I'm I'm assuming it's got to be cold, stone cold. But all it takes is a mention of Zentarum and then Grundle's ancestral memory triggers. Yes. <laughs> character he's ever played of all the indie characters past, they all hate <laughs> Zentarum. Yeah. Zentarum and out. <laughs> Didn't we meet one in this campaign? Yeah, yes, so. yeah. they attacked yeah. And, and tried to kill you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't remember. Grundle like... wouldn't remember. So it that, was, that was a week ago. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> a week ago? It's like, I, I thought that was like biased. months ago. It was months for us, but... <laughs> um, Time passes weirdly in D&D. Yeah, uh, Vilma. He, I mean, he is pretty stone-faced, um, but he... Uh, at the mention of the Zentarum, kind of just like pulls on his collar a little bit. He seems a little agitated, but only the slightest bit of that showing. You're able All to right. pick up on it, though. I think we gotta chop his hand it's, off. With... He's uncomfortable with the Zentarum being mentioned. Who is it? Uh. Uh. Well, they left us alone since Filma had her frank conversation with Little Pine Toes. <laughs> Listen, you well, must. You guys must make a living doing this sort of thing. Um, hopefully, well, more than just from the tavern. Maybe I could get a cut if I'm willing to help. Well, uh, out of what? Whatever you find. Cut of your thigh. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. What's it's actually it's actually a jite. Oh. Pulls out a small knife, a little cross guard on one end. Ooh, whose that from... is that? <laughs> well, it was my father's. His name was Umezawa. No, I'm just kidding. Say it! Say the thing! <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, I mean. Well, if we're solving, I feel like we should figure out that, you know, if she have her do a vibe check on this guy, she, she's going to be traveling with us. Can you ask her for another drink while you're over there? Benrick, why do you drink so much recently? Because I was waiting like for all you. of you to come back. It took forever, and I was bored. <laughs> I well, drink when I'm sad. Four hours. I drink <laughs> when I'm sad. <laughs> but you're always drinking. <laughs> My secret kid. You didn't do, like, some knitting? things with Jeeves or something? No, he ran out of- he needs more tea. He doesn't have tea right now. We don't have any tea. It's a problem. Well, okay. First order of business, we need to get some tea inside this freaking tavern. Alright, Grid, your first job. You need to acquire <laughs> tea. By any means necessary. Maybe not. Don't- I, Got it, no, Chief. No, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's do- Just you, Not any means, please. Yeah, I mean, perhaps perhaps the first thing is, if you are indeed a spy, it might just be information gathering would be most helpful mm. to begin with. Yes, in fact, doing things that might come back on us in any other way, we'd, we'd want to avoid in general. <laughs> what if you can figure out some of the people involved with the murders? There's the... a murder in Ted Town. Solve this so that we can take it. The... <laughs> well, I mean... We're would... going to delegate this. Take Solve that. this entire mystery. This whole mystery we're just going to give to this one guy. Oh no, we've become we middle managers. We fucked it up, so you've got to go fix it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's having them do some stuff for us since we bungled it. That's the whole point of this building. Yeah. We have been dealing with a lot of sneaky types lately. Hey, Alright, listen, listen, That's... Grid. What kind of a cut are you thinking? Oh, I don't need anything much. I can give him my silver. You don't pay him up front. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you were hiring him. I'd be fine with just regular pay. Just enough to keep me by. 
Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, sure enough. As... Uh, why don't we um, find something for you to do? Why don't I mean we're? Why don't you sit for a while? We're gonna talk. We've got some things to figure out. We'll come back to you. Why don't you meet this Tam over there? Um, you know, uh, Scott's yeah, in the corner. He's that's uh, he's Tam. Yeah, you know, actually, you and Tam, I should have a lot to talk about. Why is that? He looks over at her from across the room. Might have more common than you think. Humans, I, say, I, I say in Thieves' camp that she knows she has a history of uh, thieving. Hmm. Fellow shipper. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's done business in various places of the Dale. Shipping and receiving logistics. Hmm. I ship it. Well, I'll see if I can talk business. Thanks for letting me stay. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're happy doing business at a Cardinal Hall, as a base of operations, as long as you can stomach that, we've got shelter and food for you. Will do. Uh, nice meeting you all, and um, the blue man as well. Nods to Suvi, who never introduced himself, and then Grid walks off. <laughs> he just said he was the guy yeah, no, he the was the one who He actually the did. Yeah. <laughs> He does a good flute. Yeah. Oh, I'm he's the flute, the flute guy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give I was his like name. Peeking over the That's right. Thing. Yeah, he never gave his name. Seats, right? Just the flute no, guy. He never gave his name. It's like, and you too, flute did. man. <laughs> and you too, flute man. Well, we'll have to check the tapes. We'll have to check the tapes. It's fine. If you if you did, I probably just missed it because it's been a long day for me. <laughs> we narratively introduced myself. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Uh. You guys can use Grid as an additional retainer as well. Ooh. Minions. He's more of a Minions. he's more of a rogue than Solvig, who is more of a sorcerer. I we could tell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we could tell from both. A little very obvious. <laughs> we should minionize Jeeves. So I want to see more of these threes. Yeah, more threes, please. <laughs> Maybe he <laughs> yeah, well he won't die in one hit. That's a plus already. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I might minionize him at some point. I just you need must do the, the time. The minionizing ritual. Yeah. He's currently under the levels. sidekick rules for uh, yeah. Tasha's, I think. He's or a Xanathar's. special boy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep him special. I rolled him randomly. I saved his life, and I got a fancy boy to follow me around. <laughs> and you know that has only taken on a life of its own since then. Yep. I forgot everything about your character when it was rolled. Everything was rolled, except for the secret. Yes, that was chosen. Uh, and like the procedurally generated. Yeah. Just by happened the, to be a gnome. By the Uwu principle. <laughs> oh, now we've hired a spy. You know, that could be good, though. Like, we can yeah. figure out things about this. The, the whole cities that we've never even thought of. Yeah, I, mean, I was a little bothered by the fact that he immediately jumped to neutralizing targets. I think that's also because Grundle mentioned it. Yeah, maybe. We don't want this guy. Supply. We don't want a loose cannon neutralizing whoever they think they should. <laughs> okay. Well, it's at least good to know what skills he has. We need someone. And neutralizing who... doesn't necessarily mean killing, so yeah, that can be fine. That should all be done by people whose good judgment and rights are ordained by the power of the people, like us. Yes. Yes, they voted for us. That's right. Hey, we got deputized in Brinchan, remember? That's yes, right. we, we've been deputized to solve that crime. No, 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 no. I got deputized. Yes, uh, I'm not sure if uh, there's only one little badge, I believe, that we were allowed yes. to have. Yes, and I, one I don't think badge. it has as much power anymore now that you guys have publicly embarrassed the people of Bryn Shander. No, yeah, Bryn Shander embarrassed us. <laughs> oh boy. Well. What's on the docket for today, tomorrow? I believe we were discussing the Duergar. Okay. Yes. Uh, we did have tea, Venric. There was some in the back. Yes. Thankfully. There just wasn't any in Kerr Koenig. That's what happened. Um, yeah, mm, so... Well. What other pieces? So the Duergar are far in the south. I believe it's the last one. Or was there another one that we didn't check? Can we go back to the map with these it's, circles? I was just about to say, Nephros can unroll the map on the table. Nephros unrolls the map. Well, there's that weird symbol that we saw. Uh, Who left this power pool here? Hey, you! Out of the power pool! Hey, stop spilling your dice on the map. 
Bleh. All right. Okay, so, we so, went to yeah, there's a few. One. Yeah, there's this big one this over one. here. And this, that's the real this one. is the this is like the citadel. This one, um, right there, that's the one that you guys just visited. Yeah. 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 So I can take that off the map probably, unless you plan to go back to the door uh, outpost. We could put an X there. on it. Yeah. Could we not do this too? No, we have not done that. You've not been there. You went uh, here to face the hag. Yes. And two of the cares were accosted, right? So we did. Was it East Haven that had the thieves originally, or with the boat? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. That was the Durgar stronghold, well, the Durgar presence in East Haven, yes. Karen. Karen. Yeah, I mean, this is the only one uh, out of what's left. We got this fancy castle looking marking in the south, but then there's this one that's off a little bit further east. I feel like maybe that's where we should go next. And potentially, we could turn it into a whole journey. We could head down to Bone Doom Crag. Yes, we'll be out for quite a while, so um, we're sorting our, our fears here first. Um, what affairs? You mean like making a will? You should do that. That's actually really important. The free spirits and our base of operations here um we got people coming in you know make sure that we'll be ever everything's taken care of here before we make a long journey um, yep that and stock up on food and supplies yeah but it sounds like this one was also time sensitive from what the from what nildar had exclaimed that oh, we were one? Nildar. Oh, South yeah, one is we time sensitive. He said that uh, it it was dad, too late, and that their old dad their dad's everything. plans were soon to come to fruition, or Ooh. something to that effect. Yeah, we found it in a letter that one of the brothers had sent to, or the other brother sent to Nildar, and found a secret message encoded in flames. That's right. That's the thing that I always knew because it just recently happened. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you were there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I don't playing. know. Didn't I fill you in? I was that gross. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can quickly slip, sweep east, kill every Drovagar we see, and then head south. Yeah, I mean, that's Perhaps. not... Perhaps. I don't know if that is... Is this one a high priority than the Citadel in the south? Because we also know what else is in the south. That's where we well, hid the shot. I will also... Um, it, it sounded like you guys were equating this one to the Dorgar, that was not on the Dorgar's map. That's not on the Dorgar. Ah, okay. That was on the map that was in the ashes of uh, the burned up uh, witch. Yeah, that's uh, that's something for later, then. Oh, okay. Never mind. If we hit the Shardland, like, here, or, like, very, very close, like here or something, um, no, I think it was even closer, like there. Yeah, somewhere um, between there. We've left the nautiloid. Made of yeah, purple, is... so it's different now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The purpleoid. Um, and if they can find these things on their own, like perhaps a devil prince is talking to them, um, they might be able to find it, especially if they're as close as they are. I mean, that sounds like is more reason to get down there as soon as we can. Uh, if Sunblight ever figures out that we eliminated his sons. Well, hopefully it'll end with him also being eliminated. Hopefully he only has two. Yeah, maybe we just go tell him in person. Yeah, let's just tell him. Okay, let's just go tell him. Yeah, we just gotta, um, you know, promote, like, honesty amongst, like, everybody. It's very important to say the truth. Good. Indeed. I'm glad yeah. we all yeah. agree. Yeah. Besides, they were royals. I'm sure they were going to try and commit patricide sometime anyway. Yeah, I don't know how to do a god work. I don't know what that means. It's a big word. It's okay. Okay. Go pats. <laughs> so, are we heading out in the morning? I mean, yes. It, it sounds like that's going to be the plan. Yeah, we're probably going to have to pass through East Haven along the way anyway, so actually maybe we can try and get an additional dog for our sleds in East Haven on the way out. Would be beneficial to the party to move faster. Yeah, yeah. Well, the there's no, there's no dogs here. We learned no. there's none. 
Well, I could try to conjure one with the bag of tricks. Oh, no. Nah. might be a tiny well... rat next time. <laughs> uh, there, <laughs> there were more dogs in Kerkonig. Uh, you guys just didn't buy any. Oh. Oops. Hey. Yeah, you were given one for free. From the dog buying place. I thought it was stopped by he named East Haven. Something. Then, and then... Move yeah, I mean, it's a long out. way. Why don't we switch it up and just get one axe beak? Might as well get an elk. Elk, elk yeah. beak. You can just get an elk here? Why don't we I mean, just get a terrasque? Like a reindeer the yeah, they sell terrasques. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> they're toy terrasques. Uh, maybe Subi could just chomp some mammoths for us again. Oh my god. He's got away with, with the animals. <laughs> oh. I All figured right, what we could do with Grid, though, on the way back. Um, how about that uh, dwarf that wanted to be Speaker of Goodmaid? Never actually followed up on that. The one that we followed, and he was well, like, hey, he left town? Spooked Good. that guy. Yeah, he went to Brinchander, right? Secretly? In the I guess of going the road by Goodmead at Dugan's Hall would be the fastest way instead of over the lake. But we will have to cross eventually. I was just and saying the looks... job for Grid to do on his own. Oh, for Grid? Oh, and he can go um... ahead and check in on them? Yeah, that might be a pretty good thing. Uh, any well, means maybe... necessary. I think he's just a slimy politician. I don't think it was anybody, like, you know, out of well, blood. could have been a Durgar. We didn't really skin him. <laughs> oh. I mean, I do have an idea. I think I'll send some uh, letters with our, with our new person, and perhaps on his travels he can collect some information. Well, just give him a general task for now. Yeah, so he can earn his first paycheck. <laughs> um... But I, I believe in the morning um, would be a good time to collect ourselves and head out. <sighs> well, you know, I like getting a full night's rest, so I'm going to like do a lay on hand to get rid of any sort of <laughs> alcohol in me. <laughs> Stop cheating. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of reach in and grab your uvula. Hey, you said you want to <laughs> leave in the morning. I'm just going to, you know, kind of have a good night's rest. Sure. Character sheets. You uh, cure yourself of drunkenness and <laughs> head off to Gnome Land. <laughs> stupering. Okay, so uh, it sounds like you guys are getting ready for a long rest. Um, is there anything that you guys want to like buy in the morning besides like sled dog in East Haven? Um, probably. Let me Visions? see how many rations. Yeah. yeah. I've got 10 rations left. I've got 12. We haven't camped out in a while. We yeah, haven't. It's probably like jerky and just hard bread. It's going to taste nasty. Probably like 12 per person is like good because that's like four days. Yeah, I think a ration is two meals each unit. Something like that, probably. Supposedly. <laughs> well, um... I mean, you can always hunt on the way there if you run out of rations anyway. Yeah, perhaps. You have a ranger with you. Um, oh. Every once in a while. Grundle and I can hunt us down something. It's more wildlife further south anyway. Yeah, and Solvay can cook it up. With her heads? Uh, we have limited capacity on our wagons for additional people here. It's true. I don't, I don't know if we're going to bring Solvay. I think I upset her. Uh, oh. Yeah. But you do. Where That's so unlike you. I was just asking about her hand, and she got all upset about it. I was curious. Oh. I mean... <laughs> Smash she was very cut open to... about it. I don't know what you said. Smash cut to Vendrick with Solvig. So, like, is your hand a demon? Can I kill your hand? Yeah, so, actually, like, you're a monster, that is what right? Happened. <laughs> yeah, that she is explicitly what told the rest of the party, I'm really self-conscious about my hand, and I was kind of ostracized from my people for it, so I'm glad that I'll be accepted here. Hey, what's that freak of a hand you got? I'm glad that I was actually <laughs> well, you cut present. cut that off and we can yeah. replace it. Yeah, Didn't no, I, I ask to the... chop it off, too, or something? Yeah, I think I you did. Know. But it's like, me, the player, was not there, so I did not know. So it was just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. Like, Rundle accidental insult train continues. Yep. Well, uh, you can always leave Jeeves behind if you want to to uh, get Solvig or Grid with you, but it sounds like you have a mission for Grid. Yeah, yes, we've got I a mission. Will... Velma will be spending the rest of the night writing letters to a few people. All right. Um, so if anybody else wants to do anything else, 
I'll let you know in a bit. Hmm. Um, you Maybe know what? Anybody wants to sell or drop off at the neighboring shop? Uh, no, you know, Nephros is also going to write a letter while Vilma's doing her thing. Well, well fine, I'm going to write a letter, too. <laughs> Everybody's just, write like, letter writing dueling undercommon. letters. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to tea. I'm going to engage in tomfoolery. All right. You wake up, you engage Describe in tomfoolery. It. Engage in tomfoolery. I wake up. That's true. That's how you start tomfoolery, Every by waking day up. I wake up. Yeah. I'm waking up. <laughs> All right, so several people are writing letters. Um... <laughs> Are are we just Rundle's going? Scribbling going on in here. Rundle Rundle has like a crayon and like a piece of paper. Is wrong I have the coloring in my book. Yeah, Fine. he's coloring there his coloring go. book. Anyway, uh, what I'm part. what I'm wondering is if you guys need anything, uh, you can probably buy it either here or in East Haven. Um, anything really yes. from the like, you know, the standard uh, adventuring gear kind of list. I think I have a handout for it. I do. Point. So if you need anything, you can look over that list, and you should be able to find yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, I guess I'll pick up another pack of arrows. I'll probably grab a couple potions. Yeah, potions would probably be more in East Haven, but they do exist. Yeah, yeah, you can just, when we get to East Haven, we'll check some stuff off, because, like, I don't know how many climbing kits we have, or... We picked up one somewhere, I have it. Yeah, okay, cool. And also, are you taking Jeeves with you, or are you taking Solvig? I don't know, G. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Do we think Jeeves can be summoned cross region? <laughs> I'm not know. sure if it's that powerful. Right, that's the thing. He's always How seemed to have been powers? like within one mile of you or so. Yes. Do we do we want to bring Solvig? I think I might have some separation anxiety, but I can I can handle it. I don't know. What, what do the rest of you think? Certainly having fire and a pinch is helpful. For one night and you become an alcoholic. They're, they're both, you know, mages. Yeah. Um, one just maybe has higher intelligence and the other has higher charisma. Mm. And the one with the higher charisma does have a an AOE at least. We're about Jeeves to go has to a AOE? Stronghold, Jeeves? So. Yeah, Jeeves is asleep. Yeah, Jeeves, Jeeves does have sleep. Jeeves is uh, regularly useful with that. Yeah, let's say, uh, why don't we just bring Jeeves with us? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure we could use hot tea along the way. Yeah. Chamomile blast. <laughs> what, why are we choosing between them? Does Olvig not want to come? Or... Uh, we only got so much room on the sleds. That's well, true. Got four sleds and one less dog than we need. Party size maxes out at a certain... Like an yeah, RPG. Right. <laughs> don't want yeah. to offset the action economy. All right, so you're going to take Jeeves with you. That is fine. Jeeves yeah, is being brought with you. You guys are purchasing gear. You guys are writing letters. Uh, you guys can take a long rest. You awaken the next morning undisturbed by awaken. bad dreams or assassins or Grid betraying you and slitting your throat in the night or anything yeah, like that. Quick. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't have waited three days. <laughs> if you could stop betraying the party for five minutes. So, um, anything else you guys want to do before you head out? Mm. Do you want to tell Grid his mission? Oh, I mean, that's probably a thing we should do. Maybe, uh, we can check in on Scorp and get him out of timeout. Maybe he's good now. Yeah, he was only in timeout for uh, that night. He was trying oh, to okay. steal people's food, even though mm. it's free. We have infinite food, Scorp. He's on probation. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly. <laughs> um, Vilma sure has the, uh, uh, several letters that she worked on through the night. <clears throat> Run out of paper? Uh, yes, actually, in fact. <laughs> yeah, well, you I'm know, very low. I hope you know where we can deposit these to get them sent out. I've been meaning to write one, I just kind of saw you writing them, so I assumed you know where to put them. Well, our uh, friend care. Grim has traveled to ten towns um, and can move discreetly. Uh, perhaps he could make some letter deliveries for us. 
and perhaps gain some information on the way. I mean, I could yeah, handle yeah. that. Where's it going, Smearnsburg? <laughs> no, we don't talk Nobody about that else. Place. Nobody knows that reference. <laughs> <laughs> well, two, I know exactly where they are, and two more, um, we're gonna have to use uh, some of your skills uh, to find. Um, the first is the closest. Uh, here's a letter to King Brunar Battlehammer over uh, <clears throat> in the Dwarf Valley. The king? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, oh, yeah, we're tight. stole we a bunch of money back. off him. He loved it. It was fun. Uh, <laughs> then we didn't steal. We won it fair and square. We won. Oh, yes. Well, you won, won it fair and square. Yeah. Cards. It was. <laughs> we took it off him, nonetheless. Um, the next would be to Speaker Oris and Tamerlane. Um, then I have these two for Jarlaxle and Thrazir. So they are traveling merchants, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to track them down on your travels across the Ten Towns. Yeah, if you just like start talking about gems, pretty sure he'll show up. I'm surprised he hasn't appeared so far, so I figured I'd um, send the letter out. So um, you could invoke his name and see if he shows up. We might be gone for a bit, so um, at least uh, probably about a week or so, depending on how it goes. Um, so I'll leave this task to you, and we'll pay, uh, up front for it, Grit. Well, that's mighty kind of you. Oh, oh, here, here Grit, Grit, um, yeah, here's one more for the stack. What did you write, Nafros? Well, no, this, you don't need to know that. This, Grit, this one's going letters? to... You just met. I, listen, <laughs> there's a little bit of honeymoon phase going on, I'm sure. <laughs> Can no, you just great. hand me the letter? Yes, here. This I one is. I want to grab gonna... it. <laughs> <laughs> Make okay. a sleight of hand check, Benric. Oh, this is not going to work. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Never mind. <laughs> you tried to reach, <laughs> but uh, you are sadly a gnome. And a sleight of hand. I am less short. <laughs> yes. No amount of stout whateverness is going to increase that height. What? You are so interested in this. If you must know, and of course Grid needs to know, this one is going to Cecilia Ashbright in Waterdeep. It's my sister. I send letters to family sometimes. Oh. You gotta oh, start sending him nice. to Waterdeep? I am a serious person. He doesn't have to go all the way there. He could just hand it off to a courier and... Yeah, I'm sure he knows what... Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, I don't have much of a network up here, but I can probably find a way to get it down there. Yeah, and we can make sure your pay covers any fees for couriers. Well, you know, now's the chance if you're delivering letters for us, by the way, and meeting some of the leaders of this town, you might find other things for yourself. Okay. Is that like a a, a, a threat? It sounds like you're trying to threaten him. No, like, can go it's away. an opportunity for him. Oh, 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 oh. So what yeah, you're saying he... is that you want him to like do more, more than just his job? No, we're going to pay him, but he also gets a lot of exposure. He's, Thanks. he's a spy. He doesn't get it because it's cold out there. Oh, oh! I thought you were talking about like him telling people who he was because that's probably not good for a spy. Quick, Just we saying. need your fantasy Venmo number. <laughs> he will be a representative of the three voices and delivering our correspondence, and and also doing some spying. You're not just a little boy. Okay. So, um, what's the uh? What exactly is the spying that you want me to do? Mostly Delivering news. letters. <laughs> um, we could use some news about any of the Ten Towns murder. Would be helpful. Um, <clears throat> what other things are we following right now? <laughs> there has to be a bunch. Um, Ten Towns Murderer, I mean, you can find out any information maybe on the king to see if, like, the names Nildar or whatever pop up. Could also have, like Karn said, you can have him go after the dwarf that was trying to become, like, the leader of one of the towns and see if maybe that was some sort of rude. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you power have... move. We could, yeah, we can have a mask about his name. What was it? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I just knew he seemed very upset, and then he literally skulked away from the town that night. Shandar? Shandar. Shandar. His name was Shandar Froth. Nice. Shandar Froth. 
frothy. If you have what are the whereabouts of uh, Shandal Froth, that'd be helpful as well. All right. Uh, well, uh, where's my upfront payment? Yeah. Since uh, this laundry list is probably going to take a bit. I'll uh, give him 20 gold pieces. Thank you. I will get right to work on this. Be a bit of soup for the road. Yes, take all the uh, all the resources you need. Yeah, you know, if you take a quiver and line it with wax, you can fill it up with soup and then close the top and it'll stay warm. Ew. Resourceful. I'm not going to do that. It's a new thing I'm marketing. Call Heard it of a water skin? You the most. The soup in. <laughs> Does the pot make different there flavors of stew skin. every day? Or is it, it always the same thing? It says stew on the description. It's yeah. a rock stew. You just throw everything in. I think it's just a just a beef stew. Are people gonna get sick of our same flavored stew? Probably, but they're also hungry. You could also mm. season it after the fact. Well, something we could do with the stew is add get some spices and add it to it. I mean, the witch took it upon herself to add some human. No, oh, no. Wow, <laughs> that is true. That's true. She we certainly could do did. More moral <laughs> choices, at least. Have we been eating people? Oh, and you know what? I still have her eye. You have what? I thought we destroyed that. I all I know is I still have it in my inventory. Oh, we tossed it into the the void. Gerda's oh, hag eye. The bag of void. Oh, okay. oh, it's in. The, that's right, because I also have the bag of void. That's right. It's in. Yeah, yeah. So that wasn't a false statement. I still have it. It's just in the inky blackness of the bag of holding. Where it can't see things. That's right. Presumably, there's one other hag out to kill us. And you know what else is in this bag? Nefros like reaches elbow deep into it. Oh, this big silver shot glass. Oh, yes. Okay, so the last thing before we leave, we need to decide uh, how what we're going to do with this glass. Why? Because I, giant shots sound like a really good pull for people. <laughs> I need to acquire some whiskey. Yes. Yeah, maybe it's like a challenge. Uh, part of uh, my correspondence is also acquiring some uh, of the local flavors, you might say. Yeah, maybe if you can uh, fin if you can down the giant shot glass in one go, you uh, get the drink for free, or you get like a name on a board or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll, we can do that. But it has to. We have to figure out what we want to put into it. Cause it has to be something really, really hard to drink. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Perhaps a dwarven mix. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, we'll see what we can pick up while we're traveling. We'll and just put it on the shelf for now. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll pick up something. Right. Well, if we are ready, I will go to East Haven, pick up another dog, and get going. Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, the plan. Wonderful. For the dogs. All right. You guys are off to the eastmost of havens. Bye, Ati Tab. Don't call me that. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, we can do that one too. Okay. We can do all. We can do all of them. We can do all the things. Definitely. Uh, definitely, definitely need drinks. Yep. All right. Oh my God. The fuck is being loud outside. I don't know. Anyways. No, it's like someone oh, yelling at a someone car. yelling and there's a car. <laughs> and yells at Cloud, the evening news. Yeah. Alright, let's head back to the map. Although Solvig is not present here. Locked in this shit. Tis. Get away there. Go. And out. there's also another boy we're forgetting. This boy. <laughs> He's still exhausted somehow. <laughs> uh, it's left over from Dragon Con, probably. Did you fix all the haunted health bars now? Um, no. <laughs> I think that we they're... had some on this map, too. Well, if there were, they're gone, so maybe they did fix it. 
Mm, I didn't do anything. Thanks, roll 20. Thanks, thanks, daddy, 20. <laughs> okay. Let's... This... Eh. Morning. Okay, uh, you guys head along the road. Dragging your one kind of bum cart along with you. Um, until you can get a proper dog to pull it. And eventually... Run it up the hills. <laughs> uh, you guys land in East Haven. And yeah, there, there were no encounters along the way. Um, in East Haven, you're able to pick up supplies. Uh, you can pick up a dog as well. Um, shit, how much were dogs? 50? I think it's a pinned like thing. 15? No, it was like 50 pinned. or 100. Dog is 20 gold pieces. Oh. 20, you guys... It was expensive one time. Those are very it was expensive when you guys had uh. silver pieces and copper pieces. We're gold folk now. Yeah, we gold in this bitch now. Well, I can cover ten of it and someone else can cover the other. So I accidentally add a zero to my total amount of gold. There. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I only have 233 pieces of gold. I think I can pay for it. Or we buy the dogs. Spend money on anything. <laughs> no, why? You guys spend money on everything. I'm saving it for a big thing, like a magic hammer. Yeah. Up until a little while ago, I had like 300 and something pieces of gold. Nice. So. I don't yeah. have that much now. But I'll, I'll add the other 10 for the other uh, half of the dog. All right, let's find us another strong one. Well, you're the one that's friends with them, so go ahead and talk. Hey, puppy. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. He kneels down in front of him. Who's a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can talk to the animals. Yeah, uh, he can. anybody can talk to an animal. They just understand that they're good boys. And goils. Right. Don't worry, Jacques. You're not being replaced. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you... I mean, it doesn't really matter what dog you have. They're all gonna no. have the same stats. Um, so I was we'll, just fucking with you. Yeah, what the would... fluffy one. Yeah. Okay. I want uh, the one. I want anyone that doesn't look like he can see because it's got so much fur. Grundle, master of names. What do you bestow on this dog? Silence. Guess he yes. left. Probably. I guess he left. <laughs> So, um, yeah, what would you like to name the dog, Suvi, since you seem to be... Oh. <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> what? Karn's like, what? would you like to bestow a name upon this dog? In silence. I was looking at the window of... My house. Some... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I they shot my head out the window the sled. Dolls in the window, and I was looking at them. Well, anyway, what did you ask me? What are we puppy? naming the dog? Oh. Is it a boy dog or a girl dog? It hasn't told us. <laughs> Otter can, even. Can we check? Uh, it's a three. <laughs> out of four. Uh, the third gender. <laughs> uh, it's a boy. Bernice. Nice. Sounds like a girl name. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bernie. Feels a bad. It's a ginger hey. dog. You have a dog named Bernie's. And with that, uh, is there anything else that you need to accomplish in East Haven? Potions. Um, yeah, I'm going to buy two potions. All right. Two Smurl potions. Sure. I was buying rations. Is there any room for haggling on prices at all, or...? Uh, you could certainly try. Right, I'll give that a shot. Okay, uh, that's Holy pretty good. You. Your silver tongue is able to get a, I'll say a, a fairly substantial discount. Instead of 50 gold pieces, uh, you're able to buy them for 30. Nice. Dope. How do you get those shopkeepers to part with their stuff? Oh, it's these, uh, these baby silver eyes. It's in the name, I believe. <laughs> Just because I'm so much taller than them, I get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I use that to my advantage. <laughs> I use that to look over the shelves and to the, the next aisle. <laughs> Easier to spot my intended prey. The soup? Yes, the soup aisle. <laughs> the natural the natural prey of Vilma, soup. Why are you buying soup at the potion store? We have enough of it! <laughs> we have free soup! I'm at rations. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, uh, you guys have bought everything you need to? Then, Mosey. Then we are off once again full sleds. Full sled activate 100%. Time to Got fight a bully. Alright, uh, oh what kind of path would you like to take? Are you going along the roads? Um, or are you. Oh, I can mark. Roads are safer. I can mark where it is on this map. That might be helpful for people. I think you yeah. just send it. It's not oh, like no, we're compelled to go the... on a direct path. It's not going to hurt us. Like... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it yeah. ascended this, the uh, not like is. So we're not going back there. Yeah. I there mean, I think I mean, I'm going to go, I'm just going to John Madden this real quick, and mm -hmm. you guys tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to take the sleds on over here. Jesus Christ. Somebody's taking a sled all the way up the hill. Oh yes, the Fibonacci spiral. Mm. Why are they like spinning out? Is this, here's the thing, though. Um, what about... I believe around here is where the shot is hidden. Yeah, I'm, I'm purposefully gesturing as far away from there as possible. Well, the thing is they're after it, and we don't know if they have it. I guess we're just going to have to ask. Yeah, I mean, if you're suggesting going back there to get it or secure it, um, I am thoroughly doubting your motivations. It sounds like he what? just wants to check to see if they've taken it already. I I think it's dangerous just getting near we that stuff. Pick it up and bury it with us. Yeah, didn't, didn't we it, bury that for a reason? As Modius, it there. Is, if you're even near that stuff, as Modius might compel you to dig it back up and take it, as long as none of us are looking. Well, the thing is, I'm we saw them. The they can be destroyed as well. We we've we've seen that, so. Well, here's another thing. Uh, if suppose it is gone, or it is there, uh, what would we do then? We would continue well, on to the, the place, right? Right. It, if right. We would go there. In either case, we would just go straight there after. Uh, yes. Well... Fair enough. Um, Either we're bringing them more chartlin, or we're just going there to take it back. I didn't say take it with us. I, I meant we've seen it destroyed before. Perhaps we could eliminate it. I think that it's a bit out of the way. I, I think I think it's the right idea to think about perhaps destroying it. And what we should do is if we go there, we destroy it. We try and destroy any chartlin that's there, get rid of the dwarves, and then we try and find a device or method or tool that we know destroys Chadlin, and then we can go back and destroy it. I don't want to risk getting ourselves anywhere near it unless we know we can definitely destroy it and probably be resistant to its wiles. Okay, if we if we need to figure out a way to protect ourselves before then, then we'll do that. But I just... Are we sticking to there. the roads or are we... Braving the wilderness, drop, we might be able to. We might be able to ford the river here. Uh, it's was, probably frozen over. I was going to say, if it's possible to just come right out of East Haven and come down across these two river crossings, that's probably more direct. It's more direct, but is it easier than the road? Right, it's, it's more uh, dangerous. It's awfully. It's more dangerous, and it's off the the terrain itself. What do my survival instincts say? Well, Suvi, Suvi. <laughs> figure it out, I'm, I'm sure, though. Um, from the looks of it, the roads would take you further out of the way. It would probably still be pretty quick. Um, and, I mean, it's really a matter of, like, do you want to take the safer route and go longer, or the quicker route, but 
slightly more dangerous. Less oh, civilized. We have a possible time limit. Yeah, I mean, they, we Quick know row. time is of the essence. Quick row. Quick row? Okay. Are we still straight, stopping? Quick row. Straight, straight to the hole. We're okay. currently at East Haven right now. Yeah, yeah, but are we are we doing the turtle in route or no? Because if so, no, I'll, I'll no. okay, just making sure. I'll prepare. If so, I would like some. Spells. <laughs> yeah, you're That's... still free to prepare that. These Durgar tend to target our minds anyway. Well, yeah. it's detection from good and evil, not detection from mind reading. Yes, mind reading is not inherently evil. I don't know. It sounds pretty invasive of privacy to me. Yeah, listen, oh. I'm the one with personal experience on this here. It's kind of evil. It's not. I don't have mind shielding. Well, That's what I'm right. trying to say. Well, I believe we'll be encountering evil soon, uh, based on that the they're collecting these chardlin shards. Yeah, um, this chardlin is tied sure, to Asmodeus sure. film is right already. So I'll have it prepared. Good. It's a good spell anyway. Might as well. You know, sure. Spell. Shall One we? Of the classics. If we have time and we could take a break, I could just perform a ceremony. Is okay. Nephros marrying Grid after all? What? No, it's just a fling. <laughs> it's more like a, a prayer. It, it can help, you know, individuals. Um, perhaps. Uh, I don't think they'll get there today. So perhaps tonight. Okay. I will look through my spells and I'll see what I can what I can do. You have the vast okay. paladin spell list. Just uh, I, mean, I don't know what all fifty spells your ceremonies could do. <laughs> yeah, the ceremony uh, tends to be like a one-time thing in most cases. Mm -hmm. Like a ceremony marriage ceremony wedding. or a rite of passage ceremony. I think there is one for like uh, making healing water or holy water, though. Oh, let's see. Atonement, bless one. water, oh. coming of age. <laughs> you can use that on Grundle. Can you make holy water? <laughs> coming of age. Dedication, uh, which is dedicating someone to your god's surface. Yeah, so you get you can roll a d4 and add the number of rolls to the save. Yeah, so. The creature can benefit from this right only once. The next twenty-four hours. I'll look into it. There's also a funeral right if you if you want. If anyone to do that. dies, yep, yep, yep. And then a wedding. If you guys want to strategically marry and divorce each other a few times. <laughs> <laughs> no, strategically. Uh, I only strategically marry. So. Yeah, That's, right. That is. Because it can only benefit from the right if you're widowed. So there's no divorce. Okay. You must die. You must you die, must and die. I give you funeral rights, and then well, you get have... one. You must die. I also only strategically widow. So <laughs> that's right. Uh, I suppose this uh, becoming the uh, most powerful polycule is uh, out of the question. What's that? Yeah, no. As long as we're all together, we have plus two AC. <laughs> we can't oh. be apart from each other. Yes, we shall all marry each other. <laughs> we have the old man, we have the little boy. Yeah. You know, I'd yeah. allow it if, if it was a one-time <laughs> thing. <laughs> wow, great. Well, we're not Chris. Meanwhile, in fantasy Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah, no offense to the rest of you, but I am not going to get tied down. Especially to all of you. I don't think I'm allowed to marry. What? Married? What? I'm allowed. allowed to marry. I'm just marrying others. Who, <laughs> I marry Who other will people. stop you? Who's gonna stop you? I thought you had to cast that inside of a raging storm on top of a boat. Uh, uh, that sounds like a wedding ceremony. Exactly. Sure. I've never been no. to a wedding like that. I don't, I don't think any of my colleagues are, are married. I don't think anyone even has kids. Wow. Well, actually, no, 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 never mind. There's a few that definitely fathered some bastards, so no, they had weird stories. I don't talk ill of them, you don't know them. Kinda knew them. We lived together for years. The children? No, not the children. Oh, kids. so you were married? No. We're saying and people the job. at Clearly my job. Here. Yeah, job people, colleagues. Yeah, all right, sure, sure, sure. It's married they to his work. Roommates. <laughs> <laughs> and they were colleagues. <laughs> Two monster hunters chilling in the room five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Anywho, I will look at my spells and I'll see what I have that can that can aid us. I'll look well, at my spells too. 
I don't have any. Rage. Claw. Tail. <laughs> Cast Crow Tail. tail. Mm. Cast Reckless Attack. Yes, you have plenty of magic, Grendel. Magic to us. <laughs> the magic no of removing guesser. pieces of, of our enemies. <laughs> oh, so when he does it, go. it's useful. When I say incapacitate <laughs> people, it's <laughs> murder. <laughs> you went the wrong way, Grim. Already. You told me to follow you. I told no, you I'm yes, new here. <laughs> I haven't gotten my training yet. Oh. The Dwarven Valley the is the other direction. You went the wrong way. <laughs> he can do the letters in whatever order he chooses. Uh, East Haven isn't the way either. You can go all the way to Neverwinter and back and then circle around. Alright. Alright. Silliness aside. East Haven. You guys are done with East Haven. It sounds like you're going the difficult route. Um, oh, yeah. In difficult service difficult. of time. We choose the way of pain, Chris. All right. That way. <laughs> hey, there. It's that easy. going to really hurt right there where you take yeah. that <laughs> hairpin turn. Oh, your drift. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys start to cross the river. I'm going to have somebody make a survival check to try to find the safest place to cross the river on Boy, five sleds. Hey, help, Suvi. Bada bing. All right. Uh, you find a pretty a pretty serviceable place, and you're able to get across almost no problem. You, you know, uh, get some of the uh, heftier snow drifts out of the way, um, avoiding them with your, your careful direction, Suvi. And you guys are able to cross without any harm. Bada bing. Bada boom. And no harpies. Right. That's one river. So that's fun. No water weirds in the ice trying to kill us. No water weirds in the ice trying to kill you. That would be really weird. Why would they do that? All right. Uh, so let's get going. Across the creek. So that's what about six miles of journey. Seems six mile yeah. journey. All right. And I would sled six miles. miles. <laughs> I would slid six more <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> Just to, to get find back. the Durgar. Hold them accountable for their crimes. Da, 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 da. This one needs more work. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is Vilma and Subi workshopping on the way. Yeah, this is... Uh, well, th this is Nefros' pitch to us. Yes, so we'll right. We'll make it work. <laughs> okay, so in theory, it should take you six hours to get there. Uh, although the last bit is difficult terrain, um, the last few bits probably, so it would probably take an entire like eight-hour work day practically just to get over there. Um, that and searching around and finding it isn't going to be, you know, any like walk in the park either. Entire mountain to search. Yeah. So uh, as you guys are heading on, get to your second river crossing. This one is a smaller river, uh, but it's also a bit faster moving. So there's less good places to cross. Make a new survival check. Um, I'm assuming that Grundle will aid in this one as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does anybody want to oh, yeah. apply any sorts of inspiration to it as well? No, nope, too late. <laughs> they, they... I tried. I tried. I know. <laughs> I know. I've, I've given up. It's like, just, just, I just take it out as now. I'm just trying I to force help. them to save resources by being quick. <laughs> You, you should uh, anyway, Chase, you should make a macro that just says Vilmo gives them bardic inspiration so you can click the button. Listen, I could <laughs> always use it with stabbing chart. people. Okay, you guys, if you don't want it, I'll use it and I'll stab somebody, okay? Yeah, that's fair. All right, um, you found a serviceable area. Um, it's not completely frozen over, but you guys are able to, like, um, dam a part of the river to... Uh, Make it so that you uh, don't sink in when you you cross. So you're able to get across the river with just minor slushiness. I'll just have everybody make a athletics check as they get across. They kind of need you kind of need to like push the there. sleds through. Ah yes, mm -hmm. fantastic. Trip over Nephros and fall in the lake. What about <laughs> Jeeves? Oh, I did a save. I gotta redo that. Oh, even better. 
Jeeves, of course, the one who is more athletic than Suvi and Nephros combined. Today he is. Today. I have a plus five. <laughs> My snowshoes, they do nothing. Splash. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm low to the ground, too. So, on average, you guys got, well, now you have six people, so it's... The mathematic average is worse than the actual average. Yeah, I think the mathematic one is pretty worse because of somebody bringing down the rolls. I... Well, maybe the DC's I... nine, what do you know? Well, we'll never find out. <laughs> so, Nephros, um, we really gotta help you work out a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna say I... ne Nephros uh, and Venric and Suvi, you guys each get one level of exhaustion. Yep, Yay. classic. Ayo! You know, we didn't roll a one when Harrison wasn't here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's yeah. because I was in control. Chris oh, rolled was amazing good, yeah. for Nevros. It's yeah, of course. some waterproof the boots. Curse. Right, it's knee highs. I got my crampons. So uh, exhaustion is first Small level exhaustion is like saving throws and what else? Uh, ability checks. Okay. I think you can uh, also see it. Just. Oh. Disadvantage on ability checks, not saves. Yeah, I don't know why I said yes to saves. Almost no checks, conditions. Like survival and Perfect. athletics. Yeah. Okay, so you guys continue onward. Uh, you had a few mishaps as the sleds like sank in, but you were able to push them through forcibly. It just exhausted some of your team members. Not Jeeves, though, spry little fella. He was able to uh, tell Venric to do his work for him. Whee! <laughs> so you guys Ooh, continue on. I'm supervising. God, <laughs> Venric is such a little himbo. He's just so dumb. You guys continue over the hills of Icewind Dale, um, pretty much unperturbed. The uh, cities have long since faded into the background, um, and the dim light isn't doing much either. The grey skies up above are a cold reminder of the Frost Maiden's curse on this land, and eventually you go into a more uh, wooded area. You can see that mountains uh, coming up upon you. They're looming high over you, and it looks almost insurmountable as you begin your approach. Um, as the pine forest gets a bit more dense, um, you start to get the sense that you might be being followed. You hear noises in the woods to either side of you, and at first, only some of you, uh, like, spot it. You think maybe it's a few birds or something. But then you start to hear what sounds like laughter. Oh, almost great. a... More snowballs. Almost a cackling laughter. Oh, this is hags again. <laughs> they sound friendly. That's, that's not friendly. They just want to have a good time. Can I get a nature check as oh, these noises... Yeah descend upon you. Channel the minus one! <gasps> oh. Channel oh. of... something. It Form of... Nature. seven! Form of... ten! ten. Alright, well, biggest so far was Suvi. So, Suvi, um, you think that these might be gnolls? Although you haven't heard of too many gnolls this far north. They're not common in this area. Could be the beast men, you know, gnolls. Crazy yep. bastards. No, I've heard of those. Be on your guard. I've you only heard rumors. Like, five out of ten worth of rumors. Mm. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, the. Can we see anything else? It's just the, the well, these noise. noises are descending upon you. Um, are you taking any precautions? Uh, um, I mean, I, I'm putting my shield on. They seem to be catching up to you guys in spite of your sled's fast movement. Yeah, I'll probably fasten my, to, like, my shield to my arm. Clearing too. or something? Is there... Yeah, I suppose It's so. still it's heavily wooded. To stop. All right, stop the sleds, get out, prepare. Okay. Yeah, circle the sleds. You stop the sleds, and uh, you get into position, whatever position you can be. Um, We're standing next to Grundle. We're standing we next to Grundle. Some backup. 
probably advise hiding behind trees. Well, I could roll a bag of trick. Might as well. Just send them chasing after an elk, elk baby. Them. Sorry? No, really? I'm rolling dice. It's Ooh. a six. All right. Why did I format this like this? I have to, like, open the folder. Number six is a giant badger. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking yeah! Badger! Yeah. Oh, it's a big badger! Badgers, badgers, badgers. Oh. It has a burrow speed. Do I have a badger? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Several campaigns ago we did. Uh, I know that, but... <laughs> And, and the like manual. the physical model yeah yeah why don't you take a picture of the model and then make a i think uh, that's the last time we used a badger it's oh my god years. yes i do have a giant badger Good. crisis averted okay i was about to quit the stream if you didn't have it so oh that's good yeah, that's unacceptable <laughs> just make a token out of the keeper in iron from root mm -hmm. egg charge used i'm gonna make a macro for this all right, uh, as you guys are setting up, you guys have, like, a round. Um, so I can say that Supi spent a round getting his bag of tricks ready, um, and you guys stopping the sleds and whatnot, but they are quickly closing in. So let's go to another page, I think. Let's drop us in that forest. Let's circle the carts and get the dogs in the middle, and then we'll defend it. We're not losing our fresh new dogs. Not not again. <laughs> there we go. God, yeah, it's tough having just a DM who loves killing dogs. Yeah. I just love killing dogs. All right, Iraqi, calm down. All right, can't... <laughs> let's clip that. <laughs> no! They're going to make me... They're going to make it sound like I think Coolville sucks. <laughs> He said, Today, hey, Fred said, it. I think Coolsville sucks. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a left facing badger instead? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it's going to look at you. Ten so points you're from gonna stare at each other. None minion left badger. Damn it. That didn't do what I wanted it to. <laughs> I thought maybe. Long badger. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Wow. Um. So you guys each have a round of prep, besides Suvi. Okay. Maybe I should roll. Just to force somebody to say something. Vilma. Okay. So, I will... Well, they rolled good, jeez. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I might as well I'm ahead of cast work. Major Image. I was just thinking that, too. Yeah. I think I'm a I'm trying to figure out how many spells that I could prepare, but I remember how is it like it's, uh, it's half your paladin, paladin level, paladins. yeah, plus like charisma, I think. Yeah, something like that. It's enough. I think it's more than you have available. I have five spell slots or five things prepared. Great. Okay. Cool. You got this. Uh, so I'll do I'll do major image and I'll make I don't know a bunch of goliaths just just like roaring and screaming on our side. Oh! 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 All right, I can get some Goliaths, I think. Oh, yes, farm up! Just to help scare him away, potentially. Oh, fuzzies. Wow. Oh, you got a, you got a few Goliaths, Chris? I have a few Goliaths that <laughs> I can... Ham. <laughs> exactly. Some that we might see in the future. Uh, maybe. Maybe they're NPCs, who knows? You, you, uh, campaign, how, how big is this? A 20 foot cube? It's a 20 foot cube. So I'll, I'll have them, I'll have them surround me. I actually want to like stand in front of them. Oh my God. I get the paint still on purple. I think but this is about a 20 foot cube. Technically. Yeah. I'll, I want Check them to like it. form up around me. Round. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Perfect. <laughs> I'll put a few it's behind. Like casting mirror yeah. image, but messy. There yeah. you go. That looks pretty good. All right. This is, you know, roughly the shape. Um, you guys 
look on as a bunch of Goliaths manifest, seemingly coming out from behind trees uh, or like out from underneath snow drifts. <laughs> They're all like slamming their shields and battering their arms together. Form up, Goliaths, my brethren! And uh, they do, they form up. Come, spirits of my ancestors, join us. Spirits of my ancestors, come to me. All right. Uh, I got with, a badger. <laughs> I got a badger. <laughs> <laughs> These are my ancestors. All right. Uh, I will skip the Knoll's turns. Yeah. Nephros. <laughs> yes. It's a surprise turn, but backwards. Kind of, yeah, sort of. It's like you guys heard them coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we are, this is kind of operating like a sur surprise round, right? Uh, essentially. Yeah. Though they yeah. are not surprised. Yeah, okay. But, Batman, um, use your prep skills. They, they were would, chasing you. It's just you yes. became aware of them. I was advising, or I was saying that maybe I was going to try to hide be behind trees, or I was going to try to advise the group to. Do you want me to roll stealth for that to see at least if I'm, like, hidden at the start of this? Yeah, go ahead. Shoot up into a tree. Well, uh, you duck behind a, a tree. It's a small tree, but it's a tree. Okay. It's a sapling. All right, Tails. well, I will... <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Uh, I will take a crossbow shot at uh, this one down here. Right. Um, I will say that these guys do have the cover of these trees, though you have a similar uh, advantage from them as well for ranged attacks. Yeah. Okay. They're ducking, dipping, and diving amongst the branches of snow. Wow. A picture has been painted. Yes. I used five similar descriptors. <laughs> uh, okay. Your light crossbow soars through, and thankfully you were hidden, so you did have advantage on the attack. Um, I've forgotten what a Rochambeau does for piercing. Okay. Uh, they're wearing mostly padded armor. Okay. And... That, I believe, will hit one. Even yes. uh, as it passes through a snow-covered branch, it does find purchase in a knoll. Sweet. I purchased one knoll. Went to Filled the store, arrows. purchased one knoll. Right, that is... What, 21? A knoll more. Yeah. Wow. Uh, they are at one. Discovered their hit points. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, let's see. I 22. will. That was pretty good. I'm just gonna move a little bit, and then I'm gonna try and retuck myself behind. Oh, let's do this. I'm gonna try and retuck myself behind some branches with a bonus action to hide. Okay. Uh. Well. Oh well. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I mean you you did want to start your turn hidden, so I, I'm gonna I say did, you did yes. your bonus action then, because this is your turn of prep. Oh, okay, okay. Then that makes sense. Yeah, so my accounting action hit that way, and then... Alright, I will, um, just stay where I am then, I guess, because I'm going to make any difference. Achieve basic cover. I'll, I'll do a little five-foot... Boom. Alright, there we go. Aha, five-foot step. 3.5. Alright, okay. Subi. That makes whole difference. You have summoned your giant badger. Uh, is there anything else you want to do this turn? I think that took your action. Yeah, that's an action, so... I'll order the badger to go up somewhere in this area and kind of cover the top of this flank here. And then I'll just back behind this tree, probably. Right. Badger waddles Fades through the, the snow foliage. as Suvi fades into the foliage of the wooden tree. All right. Jeeves. Send the badger underground as he burrows. <laughs> I didn't realize you knew so many people, Vilma. Um, but, well, I well, will... These guys. I will stay here and whip out my pistol. Oh yeah, we have those still. Well, I have one. I have one. This is almost fully charged, probably. I think I have two. I think I'm holding on to a rifle as well. Someone is. Mm, Might maybe. be Jeeves. Uh, I believe no. Jeeves has a laser pistol. Mine is a wee pistol. I think we had barely five total, and that was two pistols and three rifles, so... You know right. I pistols keep that... You maybe know you have I grundles? keep that thing on me. Jeeves uh, hides, or at least takes cover behind this tree, and 
uh, he readies his action to shoot at any knoll that comes out from behind cover. Of course, he heads for the big barbarian lady ghost. <laughs> Rundle. Dread. Hey. It's gonna come right over here and then smash my fist against my shield and say, Come at me, bro! All right, you start. That's all I really have. Bang in your fist. Uh, the gnolls start whooping and hollering and cackling out war cries in a strange tongue. And before Suvi asks what kind of tongue. Good. That one? Uh, nope. Not that one, actually. So maybe you don't know this language. Mm. Do you know gnoll? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course I do. Garbage language. Not Very refined well. like Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> So All right, so Grundle, uh, are you readying any actions? Um, I guess if one comes near me, I hit it with my, I don't know. Get one-handed weapon? Weapon, yeah, with one yeah, of my one-handed weapons. Sure. Um, what kind of weapon do you want to have out? Uh, do we know what armor they have on? Has that been established Hide. yet? Or? Hide. Hide where? Ha. Huh. Someone uh, padded. Yeah, it counts as padded. Uh, yeah, my hand axe. All right, take out your Papa. axe. You have your shield, yeah. How yeah. Benrick, you I'm and your fantastic one. So, um, who else had exhaustion? I had exhaustion, and somebody else oh, did. I, I do. Well, like, okay. Well, you're hidden, so I can't actually see you. But I'll give Suvi. I mean, I'm not currently hiding. Oh, okay. So then Nephros, Suvi, and uh, Grundle, uh, I'm going to bless mm. you. Thank the you. Zoom time. Bless you, child. You bless you. <laughs> so bless you, child. I, I know what that means. Mm-hmm. How to right. find the one. I icon. lied. I don't it's know what it means. You <laughs> up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, target can roll a d4 uh, and add that number roll to the attack or saving throw. Grundle, Suvi, and who else? Nephros. Uh, Nephros, okay. I already blurst myself. You already blurst yourself, and you used the icon I was going to use. Great. Blur. Blurs. Yeah, if you go to the icon thing and you hold your mouse over one of the icons, they show their little names. Yeah. This one is called Blessed. Yes, I named it that. Yeah. Oh, that one. Hashtag. I blessed. honestly I don't. expand this menu so I Bless. could see all the buttons at once. Bless your heart. I wish you could, too. I hate Let's scrolling down. Three lanes. Anyway, uh, with that, Can't Venric. Can't find it using this one. You, I'm deafened. Uh, okay, Venric, you incite your oath, and you guide these people to destroy these unholy abominations, monsters in the woods. That's what you were going for, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. All right, top of the round. Vilma, your goliaths are standing strong. The gnolls cautiously online. approach. Their shrieks shall silence in this night. Kill them all! Um, I will <gasps> go for an intimidation roll against them. Okay. I'll let you make an using intimidation my, roll. Using my backup, hopefully. Go back up. Dancing. Intimidate uh, those cats. My, my, my third level spell I cast hopefully can help. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Backup dancers. I will. Okay. I will. So, intimidation. Kabam. Uh, I think it helped, Chris. Oh, the love of God. <laughs> Oof, uh, I don't know if... Um, using up our 20s. I don't know if that's huh. going to be enough. If you had rolled higher, maybe we might have been able to... <laughs> yeah, something. yeah. yeah I'm I sorry. can't wait for Nephros to roll two ones on his attack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you used already. both of our 20s? <laughs> both of us. For the so whole hard. group? For the All rest right. of the campaign? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say uh, that the gnolls are frightened this turn. Uh, straight up sores. Um, uh, oh, it's gonna yeah, be annoying so to have to frighten them. Gonna Back. Up. We'll just remember. Yeah, yeah. we'll just remember. It's, it's for one turn, isn't it? Until the end of like the next turn, or something goes away. Uh, how long is left? Uh, well, that's <laughs> yeah. It's not an actual no, effect. No, no, just like the frightened like, condition. Well, it's not an actual. Okay. It, it's that's just a condition. It lasts as long as whatever put the thing on it lasts, and I'm yeah. the thing that put it on it, so I'm gonna say it lasts until the uh -huh. end of the. Until you do you. the Whatever start of Vilma's happen. next turn. Cool. Yay. 
All right, uh, that was an intimidation check. I assume you used your action to control the uh, Goliaths to do that. Um, but you still have bonus action. And yeah, movement. It's, I mean, it's it, it acts on its own. It's it's an action to move it, but um, since it had yeah. an in-game effect, I'm going to say you directly controlled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'll. Uh, so uh, I was figured I'd just take a defensive action, but uh, if that's all I can do, I will bardically inspire Grundle. Actually, we'll do yes, that. two dice now. You so have two. Fire. Yeah, dude. Let's, let's get young Grunds in there. It's not it. It's real awkward if they surrender now. Awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ew, please. <laughs> okay, is that it, Vilma? That will be it for me. The gnolls cannot approach the Goliaths due to their frightened condition. The gnoll pack leader starts yelling at them in gnollish. And this gnoll just kind of like peeks out from behind a, a tree and just cautiously shoots from behind their cover with a longbow at uh, the general direction of the Goliaths. Uh, if, if it was... Same. I'm going to roll randomly to see who they target. But they sure. were probably sh shooting towards the leader, so I'm going to say that it's going to hit, like, one of these four people. Um, roll that d4. Okay, I'll say it hit this person. So, uh, it goes through one of the Goliaths. They've now interacted with it. They're going to make a intelligence saving throw, or is it a check? For uh, It's... Oh. Uh, well, it's the same either way, so... Yeah. Just do a brain thing. Okay. Uh, they they think that it must have blocked it. The yeah, Goliath I'll, instinctively I'll, puts up their it, shield. Yeah, block it with the shield and create an illusion of an arrow in it, even though it went through it. All right, Update. the Knoll ducks back behind cover. It's an investigation check. Oh, interesting. Well, either way, worse. still minus two, regardless for each of the Knolls. Uh, another Knoll is going to peek out and try a similar thing. I'll roll target randomly at again okay it shoots a uh the center one which <laughs> vilma it will hit you if uh it exceeds this guy's ac by two well okay. if it exceeds your ac by two you have cover quote unquote okay I'll, I'll, that, I'll that's take what i'm trying to ape i'll take it <laughs> oh, look. oh wow four times your ac <laughs> i mean <laughs> if i if Not i allow an out to myself it will find a way <laughs> If I don't roll a deep uh, 20 now. <laughs> anyway, uh, Vilma, the illusion seems to block the, the arrow, but it is, of course, an illusion, and it goes and flies towards your leg oh. for four damage. Spleen. Okay, that's fine. Let's shrug it, it off. off. They it duck off. back from behind cover. Uh, I'm going to say Jeeves is going to lose his reaction on this one when they peered out, especially since Vilma got hit. As they're going back, Jeeves is going to unleash all hell and fury. Take this, oh. bitch! Oh. Gun! Oh. Gun! <laughs> Gun! Back, knocks it out of his hand. Uh, that does not hit their armor. <laughs> In fact, it Talk doesn't back. even hit Gun. anything. Uh, so yeah, the, the, a pulse of light comes out and through the trees, but doesn't actually do anything. This poor fellow is uh, going to shoot at Nephros. Isn't he it's... frightened? Oh, but he can still shoot. He yeah. Can. He just can't approach. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be an 18. All right. So I have 17 AC, but you said it was also benefiting from cover? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't hit. Yes? Uh, yeah, I would believe. I Cover is plus two. Is that right? What kind of armor are you wearing? I am wearing leather armor. Leather armor. Okay, so that's padded. Nothing. Okay, this knoll's gonna uh, just duck back behind cover. All right, the knoll pack lord is also frightened, but he's going to try to inspire his his folks. <laughs> he starts shouting in knollish to to try and get them to fight in spite of the odds. Uh, he's going to make an. I'm gonna have him make an intimidate check opposed by Vilma. Um, he can certainly. I get two natural twenties. Can only you scarier than a hyena man. Well, I'm gonna make you make a new one. Okay. 
He doesn't have a very good intimidate check, but he will try. Fresh come well, dice are a thing. All right, <laughs> he has lost all control of the situation. Uh, <laughs> Grundle, kill that foot first. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Hi, boss. Uh, well, with that, he's then just going to use his longbow twice. Peeks out from behind cover, and he's going to shoot at Grundle this time. Trying to, get, trying to get an easy shot off Just at uh, Grundle. today, I guess. Uh, although, of course, um, he is frightened, so those do have disadvantage. Um, the longbow oh, gets a 14 instead. And Grundle, yeah. you still have advantage, or you still have cover, because you, you all have cover against each other. Right, so my AC is 16 with the shield. Okay. Uh, if it's 16 so with I the shield, the then hit. the 18 will hit for 8 piercing. Yeah. And you're not raging yet, right? No, I'm not. Okay, then you do take the eight. All right, uh, null pack lord is done. Nephros. Pack lord. Welp. Pack I lord. I ought to try mm. and finish what I started. Finish him. Rock at him. All right, that'll hit. And the null goes down. Sure, eight. Oh, well, I shouldn't have deleted him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to need him later? No, it was just like best, best right practices. <laughs> All right, the null goes down. Alrighty. Um. Wow. Oh, don't make me feel bad. <laughs> yeah, I Is don't this kill dogs. Flank? You guys are killing dogs. Yeah. Is this Heck sufficient to um, hide from them? Is this like enough cover? Yeah, pretty much any of the trees are like hideable. Okay, that's what I will try and do. You are much well hiddener this time. Well, much well hiddener. <laughs> yeah. All right. I said what I said. Well, he's got exhaustion, so it's just a seventeen, right? Yeah. That's true. But it's still much more hiddener than uh, last time. Well, yeah. Man, I'm not used to be in this far down the initiative. I know. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> I'm freezing cold. Freezing my ass off. My socks are soaked. Technically, I should have been at disadvantage on initiative anyway. <laughs> well, it would just negate your, your advantage, right? Yeah, exhaustion right. eats ability checks, which is initiative. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, but you also that. have it. Yeah. Doesn't matter, I'm on the bottom anyway. Venric, uh, uh, reroll your initiative. It might be lower than one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can it be zero? Is can that it? even possible? Negative two, yeah. Wait, if you, you have a negative. I'm, I'm, no, you don't I'm have mostly negative being. A, I have a negative one. Yeah, so negative it could have been, yeah, been zero. Yeah, it could have been zero. I was it mostly being a worse. jerk, but uh, <laughs> look, I just want to see if I can make it zero. Yeah, I mean, I was curious too, of course. What are the odds? Five percent. Yes, Suvi, what will you do for your turn? <laughs> yes, I will shoot. Uh, let's see, who, who doesn't have cover from my allies? They all do. Uh, uh, I'm just going to ignore your illusions and try to shoot this null here. All right. Yeah, they all have gnoll. cover. You try to shoot the null. <laughs> uh, that is not going to hit them. It hits a tree trunk instead. Extra attack. Launch another one to keep up wow. the assault. Of course, you are blessed, so you add a d4 to both of these. Right. Right. Blurp. Mm -hmm. Blurp. All right, bottom one's 16. Might a 16 hit. would hit, but it instead Plus hits 15. their cover. Uh, same with 15. A 15 <laughs> would hit, but for their cover. Badger. Well, I'm going to tell the Badger you... to charge in and kill whatever Grundle attacks, I guess. That guy. All right, it charges in. Uh, let me see its movement That's speed real quick. 30, I think. Yeah, it's 30 feet. It also has 10-foot burrow. Quick, under that tree. <laughs> I mean, Doesn't have to go around the tree. He goes through it. You technically can, but it's a lot slower. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. The badger goes up, and it has multi-attack, so it badger can badgers. use bite and its claws. Hell yeah! Get a badger. Okay, one yeah, badger. badger. <laughs> the badger comes out of nowhere, and badgers, the knoll badgers, badgers, badgers. bats away its teeth, but its claws 
get a gaping wound. And that's going to do uh, six damage runes. Wow, that's a lot of ones. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, three ones out of four dice. <laughs> that is pretty rare. Three ones and a two on those d4s. Plus one. It has plus one for strength. Cold table. All right. Uh, with that, anything else, Suvi? I assumed that you, you have a bonus action and movement if you need to use them. I'm going to just... One, two... I'm going to use this tree as cover. Oh, changing it up. Better right. angle. Well, it's Jeeves' turn. Uh, he likes it safe behind these trees um, and in the illusions. So he's just going to... Get back here. <laughs> He's going to stay uh, behind, like, cover and um, continue to use the illusions. He'll still draw his pistol, just in case. Right. Let's go to this knoll. Still frightened. Uh, this knoll is going to shoot at one of the random goliaths. Um, I'll just roll a d4 again. Okay, he shoots at one of the illusions and misses, so he's going to make a check. Good old intelligence. Investigation. Okay, I don't think that beats your save. Right, Vilma? 13? 15. Is the DC. Okay, 15. He does not. I go um, after. I go next, actually. You go next? Yeah. I'm not in this initiative all of a sudden, because I had to drop in a You dropped a in a new token? token? It wasn't updating my health or anything when I subtracted it. Like, the green bar would just stay the same at 59, 57. Okay, yeah, I mean, you gotta let it's me know when that happens. Fucked it I up. just did. Okay. Well, Very well. Uh, I think you can uh -huh. get me in there, too. Oh, did you drop yeah, in a new person? I, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, people. <laughs> <laughs> we just love making you do things, Chris. It's fine. Mine's fine. Oh, I that's weird. Change my HP. <laughs> yeah, it. Oh, it's just because you don't have any macros, I see. I was like, why aren't there any macros showing up? Um, so let's just do initiative. Vilma. Yeah, I was at like five. Vilma, where were you in the initiative? I was at the top. I was at right, the top. you had like 23. Yeah. And The only one that beat the nulls. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Okay, Grundle, it is your turn then. All right. Five, ten, fifteen... 25, and then I'm going to go over here and let this guy hit me if he so chooses. Uh, yeah, he will as you rush through the woods. The knoll, uh, just almost out of instinct, uh, drops its longbow and pulls out its... Oh, no, it can just bite you. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It goes and snaps. Ooh, and it deals three piercing. Uh, uh... All right, and then now I'll probably should have raged beforehand, but one point of damage probably wouldn't really matter much. Um, oh, I actually have three and two. There we go. It bit you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, use crunch. Crunch. It's a dark type move. Uh, so is bite. Okay, well, so go. Is bite. Yeah, it deals. Uh, does doesn't it do flat twenty five damage or something? I don't know. Uh, no, bite doesn't do flat damage. It has a chance flinch. to flinch. Yeah. Oh. Crunch has a better flinch chance, but a lower hit rate. What's the one that does like right. flat damage? Anyway, you uh, Swift. Grundle enters a rage and his tail the grows. Tail pops out. I think I could have just I was and not taken any damage, but you know what? Grundle doesn't think so. Oh well. All right. Now I'm going to hit with this hand axe I have out. Health is a resource. The leader. All right, you take out that hand axe. Let me see what his AC is. Okay, cool. This guy is actually wearing chain. Um, I did oh, not notice, it. but most of the other gnolls are wearing hide. This uh, guy was hiding his chain. Huh. You do have your bless. Um, oh, if you'd yeah. want what to use that, it. Uh... What uh, is it's, it? You roll a d4. A d4. Don't you? You also have inspiration as well. If you need it. Three. All right, uh, that will negate that minus, and we'll find a hit. Roll for damage. Oh, boy. 
Ah, yes, the sound of an axe hitting someone. Yes, well... (laughs) Bonk. (laughs) Bonk. Okay, that's going to be six damage to the pack leader. It snarls. Second attack. Where is it? It's the big one. Get him. 25? Yeah, that'll hit him. Right, this one takes another seven damage. Uh, As your hand axe scatters along their, like kind of rough chewn up chainmail armor um it starts to weaken the null pack lord who is like backing away from you he kind of sees that you're a credible threat and that's it you should take that as a compliment yeah. you've got good credit Rumble. all right oh sick this null heads to their for alone. pack leader's defense not approaching the goliaths at least and uh they're going to they're going to take a bite out of crime Ooh, and they're going to hit for six piercing. Chris has that hot table. Um, yep. Oh, so that's going to be halved for you. That's three. Got it. While you raging. All right. Uh, the knoll is done. Venric. Mostly he just raged. Just a raging. Uh, you're so far away. That's what we like that's about him. That's nimbleness. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to run up. I'm going to help the badger. Uh, I small things burst out of the woods and kill the knoll. I will bonk the knoll. Actually, the badger is medium, so it's bigger than Venric. Oh my god, can <laughs> I ride the badger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will do that at the end of my turn. <laughs> well, it's not controlled by you, it's just friendly to you, so you will have to try to handle okay. that. But you can certainly attempt. So, a Warhammer, uh, it does not do as well against their padding. Two that that one will just barely break through, even despite their padding. You whack at one of the knoll's legs, and it hurts the for three there. damage. Wow! Ooh, it smarts. Wow! Spicy. Do you want to put any more damage? No, not nice yet. To smite on these peons. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Yeah, Durgar to smite. Yeah. Uh, at the end of your turn, you attempt to mount the badger. Uh, yeah. I, I would like to. I would like to give a look and see if there's any way that. Is there a connection? <laughs> After there hitting connection? the knoll, you lean down next to the badger and hold out your hand, like, "Come on, buddy, it's nope. okay." The <laughs> badger that, snarls sure. at you. It is in combat mode. All right, that's fair. It's a little fight. It's I a service wish animal. To kill being he has summoned. a job. Combat I time. I will get out combat of the way. time. Combat time. Combat time. Combat time. Combat time. Combat pet. Combat pet. Yes. All right. Top of the round, Vilma. The gnolls are no longer frightened. They uh, have committed to battle, finally. Okay. Um, I will just move up and use my ma- my action to use... to move the rest of them up and kind of just start harrying these guys to give them extra targets to attack, pretty much. All right. The Goliaths wade into battle. Uh, um, screaming battle cries, of course. Yeah. <laughs> And now there's a lot more enemies. It's almost like you kind of have mirror image on a lot of your friends here. Because uh, they're going to choose targets pretty much at random. Great. Yeah, just just some more confusion while we get some hits in. Um, All right. That took your action. Anything else? Yes, it took my action to do so. So, um, I think I'm Gucci right now. Pretty Gucci. All right. You take up the defensive stance. Uh, This knoll, now surrounded by goliaths, is going to whack at random. Um, There's, I'm going to say, 50-50, it goes for one of the... Well, actually, I'll just roll a d4. Okay, it's going to hit the badger. It's going to pull out a spear, dropping its longbow in the confusion, and attack the badger. And oh, I can only roll 23s. Uh, it's a cool looking number. I guess yeah, that's it's mine. Like fourth 19 in a row. So. <laughs> so, okay. It's a 19 that makes that. Okay. Um, it, it, it was wielding two handed. These. Wait, do they have shields? Let me check. They do they have a shield. The shield? They were <laughs> longbowing just now. They so were longbowing, so they wouldn't have had their shields out. So, yeah, it's a two handed. So, that's going to be eight damage to the badger. 
in between Ooh. clickies. Ooh. Sorry. He twigs to the clicks. All right. The badger is heavily weakened. This knoll, uh, it has a lot of targets that it can hit besides Grundle. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to say on a six, it hits Grundle. It's a six. It hits Grundle. Give me a six. <laughs> Show Fair. me six. Ah, ah, six. Ah. <laughs> Just do whatever you want. The dice don't care. All right. Uh, Ooh, party. This one is going to get an 18 against Grundle. And... All right. Let me roll my thing <gasps> for my tail attack. Yeah. Roll your thing. All right, now my AC is 21. All right, that doesn't hit then. Nice. Uh, ooh, nice. though they are flanking you, technically. Ooh, why? Well, yeah. But that's only plus that's two. Okay. So, okay. Uh, does piercing hit your armor? No, you aren't. I don't know what my armor is. You're not Make wearing armor. Boy. Yeah, it's it's skin. <laughs> it's just really Flesh. tough skin. Uh, no, no, it's, he's not wearing arm, armor. Anywho. Uh, so you do just barely uh, prevent any of the damage. Your tail whips the spear out of the way. Just raises you instead. The pack lord takes their turn. They've dropped their longbow, uh, and they have pulled their glaive out from behind a tree. Oh, I do like a good glaive. He's going to take a, take a little back up. Ooh. Does that... Like opportunity attacks? Oh, well, uh, I already used my reaction. He already used his reaction. I was like waiting for it. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah. wait. And uh, I guess he'll go down here. And he's going to stab at Grundle. He does think Grundle is a threat more than the Goliath so far. I hope so. Would Let's... a reach weapon be affected by cover in this situation? Or... No. No, there's enough room between the trees that uh, it'll be fine. Trust me. It won't be fine <laughs> for him. He misses. Trust me, I'm a DM. All right, uh, he gets his glaive caught in a branch of a tree, rips it out, and then tries again. How about that cover, huh? This time he goes for a That'll stabbing motion, and it at least uh, hits Grundle for four slashing. Okay. And then let's use this bad boy. Uh, he yells at one of the gnolls to attack Grundle. <laughs> The gnoll nods in agreement <laughs> and goes to bite. That, thank you, it's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> this is how gnolls talk from now on. <laughs> Alright, the other gnoll gets the message and bites Grundle for three piercing, which uh, you, these should both be halved, so that's technically two and two, two damage. Two two. Alright. Pack Lord's done. Nephros. There's a swarm of goliaths and a bunch of gnolls. Yes, but I just saw the gnoll pack lord back out and move out from sort of... He's like, I'm now basically visible past the edge of this crowd. Yeah, he still has cover from the trees. Yeah, but they all have cover. Get him. Yeah. Not trees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pot shot at this pack lord. Okay. It might be better to hit him anyway, because I would probably consider the other gnolls to have to like a uh, three fourths cover, because there's yeah, both people and trees. Illusions. Yeah. It has a deleterious effect at a distance. Uh, all right, twenty. I can also roll my d4 for blurs. Would you like to? Yeah, sure. Was he hidden? All right, twenty-one. 21. That will still hit the gnoll pack lord. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't. I don't lose anything for rolling the blessing die, right? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, it's free. It's literally free. All right, sweet. So let's. This is just going to be plain old damage. I thought you used hide before. Oh, I guess I did. I did hide. I had that twenty-six. Yeah, like seventeen beat him or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's right. All right. At seven. You uh, jump out Ooh. from hiding and shoot him for 19 damage, which is a sizable amount of damage. The Noel Pack Lord is bloodied by a stray crossbow bolt that just lands below their back of their shoulder. Uh, their shoulder almost dislocates a bit as they drop the glaive uh, a few inches. 
looks back into the woods trying to find the source. Uh, I will change location and try to bono action hide again. Right. Ducking in between the trees. Jump into a bush. The red ghost. I was going to say, I realized Nephros is in that like scene in Star Trek where there's a red creature on a snowy planet for no reason. <laughs> it's salt. No, that's Star Wars. Star Trek. No, I think uh, I that's because... Yeah. Oh, the Trek. I, if I remember right from that Star Trek, this is a very small thing, but I think that was originally going to be a desert planet. Yes. And for some reason in edits, they just redid the CGI yes. for the whole thing and yep. made it a snow planet. Yep, but they kept the monster. Yep. Yeah. God, I dislike the new Star Treks. <laughs> what, you, dis Anywho, you dislike lens committee. flare everywhere? Yes. It's fine okay. when it's on oh, Discovery go. because at least it has, what's his face, Doug Jones to save it. Mm. Mm. Suvi. Our own resident Doug Jones character. Doug Jones no. plays both Suvi and Vilma. Suvi's too hey, thick. Doug Jones. Extra thick. Extra thick. Mostly Extra fluff. cover all over the enemies. Uh... That's my movement distance. Uh, too far. <laughs> Doug Jones is all of the gnolls. Oh, that's fine. Yes, that makes sense. Remember how freakishly tall their minis are compared to normal humans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'll just shoot the weakened one, I guess. All right, just... Mm, just uh, normal cover. One. All right, well, that will hit. Uh, hit him with the extra spice. Ooh, spicy. 12 damage. One swing. You're not going to believe this. They're at one <laughs> hit point. Yeah, you're going to love just it. just picking him, and he just kind of runs out. All right, this guy is on his last leg. Uh, they are oh. limping in their in the midst of their crowded the battle. Old extra attack. Ah. Natural 20. <laughs> The knoll <laughs> falls over Straight dead. Straight through him. <laughs> Does it follow through and hit the next knoll? <laughs> no, these aren't minions, sadly. Overflow damage. Oh, let's mm -hmm. roll for laughs. Uh, no. It's actually lower than the previous one. 13. Anything else, Suvi? Having, badger. having the badger do something? Send the badger over to flank for Grendel. <laughs> and bite. All right. Flank for Grendel. Don't do that. And flank. Multi-badge. Uh, a 15 plus 2, 17 will hit the null. And that's going to do 4 piercing. Get that multi-attack. And it goes for a claw. And it misses. Oh, goodness. I can't aim anymore. Wait for me. One, two, three. There's a giant six. woman in front of the gnoll. Those are just... Illusory, right, Vilma? He's gonna throw a, uh, a vat of tea at the nearest knoll. Ooh. Actually, at these two knolls. Ooh. Oh ho! It's acid splash, kind of. Five foot splash here. Okay. Did five feet. Oh, they need to make dex saves. How dexterous are you? I think they're adequately dexterous, but one of them still failed. Oh, yeah, one of them still failed. So I'm going to say the closest one failed, uh, and we'll take six damage. Six fire damage. The I knoll see. is uh, hit with scalding tea. Good job, Jeeves. That knoll looks at Jeeves. <laughs> you. Uh, this one... You. Uh, I mean, it's angry at Jeeves, but it's also surrounded by Goliaths, and it hasn't figured out yet just exactly what's going on. Um, he's going to attack at random. So let's do, say, five or a six, they go for Vilma, because Vilma was the de facto leader. Okay. And he's it goes go for, for another six. Oh. It goes for a random uh, Goliath, and we'll try an investigation. And gets a zero, so it continues <laughs> its assault. It is completely surrounded and completely believes it. Grundle. E. That's simple creatures. I am going to recklessly attack the Knoll Pack Lord with my tail, which has reach. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
As tail you spin whip. around to attack the other gnoll, your tail whips unexpectedly towards the gnoll pack lord. And oh, reach battle! Reach battle! Yeah, you attacked and recklessly. You can add it. Mail? Uh, against mail, yes. And okay. you can also add a d4. Um. You don't have a limited number of those. You can do that at at all attacks. Oh, all it's attacks? Free. Yes, it's free. Oh. It's blessed. Why not? Yeah. Oh. It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> there we go. It's, yeah, That's it's, why not, you fool! It's really good in combat, because it it's only lasts for a minute. State. All right. Well, uh, that is going to definitely hit, since it's a total nine, uh, total 20. So that's going to be 11 damage to the pack lord. And one more time. One more time. All right, you continue to whip, and it's the same situation. Uh, and you, even higher. As the tail continues to, like... Uh, knock the glaive out of its hand kind of slaps his face a few times and then uh, twists around its hand and yanks him a bit onto the ground uh, your tail and its spike that's like kind of uh, on the tip of your, your tail goes down and slashes at the gnoll lord's throat killing them Ooh. that's my boy yay alright and I'm just going to look over to this one and be like <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That didn't sound right. It's stuck in an air. Or a roar ones. in his face. <laughs> Yell in his face. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <Not the wrong. laughs> yeah, you go to roar. <laughs> <in his face. laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> and with that, I think you're That's done. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, this one got roared in its face. Yeah, it doesn't totally. like that. Exactly. It's. It's gonna, really? yeah, it's gonna attack you. You incited it. Spear time. It can't roll under 20. Okay, he was two handed, so that is two damage. Ah, ah, ah. Terrifying. Uh. Well, uh, that one's done. Venric, it's your turn. Let's see. Let's just move closer and go and attack it. Blanking, right? Get him. Yes, you are flanking, and that will hit. That will not. That's no ten damage. Okay, that deals ten bludgeoning, leaving them also wounded. It's my turn. All right. Hey, bonk. The knoll stumbles a bit as it's now surrounded on most sides. Top of the round, Vilma. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll take a a snicker snack. Is this knoll considered flanked by my clients? I'll say sure, because they believe that those are real. Cool. Ha! Okay, cool. Ha! You hit the <laughs> knoll. Decapitation. Ooh. <laughs> Twelve. Not too bad. Let me guess. Well, it's one damage. No, it's not at one. It's at <laughs> slightly above one. Okay. Uh, and I will leave it at that for now. I'll just keep the, the Goliath will just keep passively. I'll bide my time. Direction. I don't have multi attack. Level we'll six when you get multi attack. I know, right? Uh, trying to delete. This. There it is. Okay. Um, this guy. Their leader's gone down, but they are caught in the frenzy of battle. So this guy's going to choose at random. Let's do again. Can I get a six? Nope. Six sixes. It attacks a I random a thing. Huh? And... Fails their investigation. It's like a brilliant scientist. They're testing a lot of things, but the illusion is just... Uh, just believable enough that they think that their blows are being deflected in the heat of combat. See, the scientific method mm. is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough samples. We need to That's widen right. our tests. No, right. I'll only believe in peer-reviewed research. I'm gonna take my sword out and toss down my crossbow. Right Draw there. a little picture of it on the ground real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good idea. Move in here and go to attack this Janal. Sure. You can uh, pick up your pickaxe later. That's right. 
flanking bonus. Uh, that's mostly it. Bless. That, bless. Oh uh, yeah, bless. Blurs. Blurs. Guidance. Boom. Yeah, that will overwhelmingly hit now. That is Ooh. a total of twenty damage because you have an adjacent ally. That leaves them at one. You're not going to believe it. No, I'm just kidding. It <laughs> I yeah, don't believe it. <laughs> don't believe that for a second. Right. Kind of crazy. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> I don't care if it's for the narrative. You put those hit points at zero. Yeah. yeah. What does Benrick's guidance look like anyway? Little foxfires or something? Yeah. Probably. Ooh, uh, little distracting idea. bits of foxfire or targeting ones. Yeah, I was gonna say. Crosshair like, appears. I was gonna say the little foxfires position themselves in an arc, and they like progressively blink. Like, blink, blink, swing your sword yeah. here. Blink, yeah. Blink, 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 blink. I love that. Um, ninja. All right. And then bonus action. <laughs> what ninja? Fruit ninja. <laughs> Cut here. Fuck. Yeah. Horizontal. Vertical. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. I hate it. I love it. Um. The next character is going to be a gamer girl paladin. <laughs> oh boy. Only fruit ninja. Nerf I will, this. Uh, I'll move to here. All there right. Suvi. I don't. I don't know your last name. Suvi. Suvi Lua. Oh, uh, Go in, then I guess since we're all running into melee, that's what we do these days. Yeah, well, they're right. Run into I'll slap the snow with my hand axe and to keep my bow in the other hand. So that's a one handed attack. Why did that select my arrows when I clicked it? I don't know. <laughs> all right, whatever. It's a 20. It's 20. That's gonna hit my good friend. It's going six. to deal six slashing hey, and well. six gathered swarm. Your uh, hand axe is followed up by your icy shrikes uh, using your ranger swarm magic, and the knoll goes down. Bits of frost covering its fuzzy hide. Well, I'm just gonna just phase right through these fuckers and go hit this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nerf okay. this. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's a legal move. Right. That's legal. Wait a minute, that's illegal. <laughs> Unless I fool you as well. The axe comes out of the chest of the Goliath. Yeah, I mean, at this point, the illusion is probably broken, but uh, you may have killed the gnoll. We'll see. Uh, spicy seven. A spicy seven damage. Fresh. Yeah, it, well, it wasn't as much as your gathered swarm, but it does surprise the gnoll to see the, well, your body phasing through the Goliath that doesn't seem to manage to get out of the way in time. The only gnoll left has discovered the secret. <laughs> oh, guys, I figured it you. out. Oh, no. It barks an guys? announcement, but, uh... No one's there to hear it. <laughs> Trickery. <laughs> Jeeves. Uh, no, Badger. Badger, right? Badger, oh, yes, Badger. Badger. Badger, Badger. Strike with the might of nature. Mushroom, mushroom. All right. Um... 30 feet. Yeah, I... God. And does it know? I guess it can. It's gonna act like it's squeezing in here because it doesn't understand the illusion either. You can give it disadvantage or whatever. You're rolling it. Yeah. That's what the squeezing will Don't do. Do you like rolling high numbers? We'll see. You're the NPC, so you could use him. Nope, he doesn't well, like rolling high numbers. Uh, yeah, not when it supports the narrative. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jeeves is gonna go in. It's a little dicey in there. Gun. Gun. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, he's going to just continue okay. to throw tea on them. Jeeves is smarter than all of us. He figured it out. All right. It actually failed. So let's actually roll it. Let's roll hot on that poison dice. Roll that hot tea Three. splash. Oh, that beautiful <laughs> bean footage. You just throw a hot tea bag at him. Yeah, pretty much. A little four-inch square burn on this it. This is a dead knoll. This is a live grundle. What would you like to do? A me? Got a live one. Uh, where is the... There's a lot happening. Just we named this the bad guy, right? Attack. That okay, is the right? only enemy. Okay, got it. There's a lot of names there. Okay, let's just... Uh, hand axe this guy recklessly. Hacks. That's going to hit. Oh, God. 
That's going to deal 11 damage. You're never going to believe this. <laughs> yeah. oh. Extra attack is a good mechanic. Recklessly, 21. that will hit. All right. And it will do this knoll in. In a flurry of axes and a bit of tea, the last knoll goes down. You look around, and the Goliaths kind of start cheering. Yeah, the yeah I'll have them all cheer. And Good and God, yeah. and Good God, and God. Yeah. It's kind of oh, weird, there's like guy. Goliath arms popping out of my chest, like, oh, <laughs> that's odd. This is going to be like, walk steps back, like, oh. uh, I don't like clipping. Why can't I kind of feel it? Is that supposed to be that way? That's, that's how we got around the gnolls. Why is it itchy? <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll turn into light dust and, and fade into the stars. <laughs> ah. Off to join no Big Hunk in the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hologram. Where we are, where Archelaus will be one day. Joining Big Hunk. <laughs> Stovacore! Alright. The gnolls are gone. Well, wanna... they're still here, they're just not active and moving. And trying the to hurt you. The bodies are here, but the souls are gone. Rundled would like his glaive. How's everybody oh doing? Did any, does anybody take damage? Do you want heals? Do we need band-aids? Do you guys have any arrows? Uh... No. Uh, they do have oh, arrows. They were, shooting they were wielding longbows. Each of them Anybody is carrying. Each of them's carrying like ten arrows. I don't think I can pull a, a longbow. Good Here. job out there, Grundle. Thank you. Got... Here's seven healing. Oh, thanks. I want to check out this pack leader. Oh yeah, okay. go for it. All right, you check out the pack leader's warps. Check out his beautiful oh, little corpus. I and... dig holes to bury these fools. Nice. Um, I mean, there's yeah. not much on him. Uh, wow, that is not correct. Um, uh, yeah, there's only about 17 copper pieces uh, to his name, though the glaive Thanks. is uh, handmade. It's not like a, a fancy blacksmithed one. It's more improvised, though it is used from some sort of discarded um, rusty glaive uh, that a was sharpened found. Sharpened shovel. Yeah. It's it's a sharpened piece of metal tied well, and hacked you... onto a hefty stone half. Or a hefty wooden half. Stone. Uh, well, I think it suits you. It's mine now. Yeah, okay. it's kind of your style. Go for it. And I take uh, I don't know, probably grab up whatever finger he has. Uh, well, he has a few off. of them. Yeah, I'll cut one off. Right, you collect a little paw for your foot collection or whatever My kind weird of ass thing this is. You know, paw. at least this makes sense, like the barbarian child taking tokens instead of a paladin gray guard. Dragon. <laughs> All right, and then blame. I don't know what that is. Our Sunday group, our paladin, used to collect tokens of things. It's like, why? You're a holy man! I can make armor out of it. I like it. Ew! <laughs> My trinket is a trophy of an animal I killed. <laughs> oh, he I says aloud. I, I, I have armor for that too. I also trinket. have a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bear tooth. Not, not a sturgeon fin? <laughs> no, he mm. got away. But he was this big! <laughs> I will find him. Yeah, amongst the uh, the other belongings of most of the gnolls, you find their weapons, their longbows, uh, their spears. That was mostly all they had on them, besides uh, shackled up, ramshackled like uh, wooden shields. They're also mostly wielding like uh, necklaces of bony teeth. Sorry, wearing, not wielding. Much like the picture. Yeah. Kinda. Um, I'll have anybody do a religion check. Me. Jesus check. Me, me, me. Not anybody me. Anybody else feeling confident? Uh, no. <laughs> if we uh, help, if one. either one of us helped each other out. Oh, maybe nah. Rundle has my bardic inspiration. He does. I, I'm also blessed. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, I had to oh, but I have a nine. Oh, I have a 17. <laughs> Well, I believe it only applies it to saves and uh, saves attacks, and attack. not ability checks, which yes. is why we 
don't do it outside of combat. Yes. Actually. It is well, only in combat. Well, strictly combat. It's, uh, it is best in it's, combat. It's, it's, it's dice now. Eight. Uh, D8, D8. Six. Yeah. It's. Oh, yeah. What is it's it? It's a D8. It's D8. 17. Damn it. I still didn't beat Nephros. <laughs> oh, we're tied. Yeah. Nephros and Grundle, um, you have heard tales that the gnolls worship a demonic uh, entity known as Yinogu. And these teeth are kind of a bestial uh, sort of relic to them. Oh boy, more demon worshippers. <laughs> are these gnolls normally from here? Not from what I've seen. They're rather out of place here. Not exactly creatures, aren't they? They're, like, monstrous. Well, if they worship anything demonic, maybe they were drawn here because of these... Are they, these are they dressed for the season, or look like they just kind of wandered in here? They're dressed for the season. They're wearing, like, cold-weather clothing, though their fur kind of makes up for a lot of it. Well, good for them. Perhaps there's more demonic influence in this region than we thought. Hmm. Maybe they're all fighting over something. Maybe it's not even them influencing they just want whatever's here lucky they will the destroy shot. each other perhaps if, and... if otherworldly beings are interested <laughs> look if they're going to destroy each other that means they're going to destroy everything else with them well hopefully we'll stop yeah. a lot of it at least oh is anybody injured yeah i think rundle is the only one that had some boo-boos and oh the badger the... got bit badger starts whimpering you're not real. I'll give the badger a band-aid. You're not real! <laughs> you ain't real! <laughs> You're just a bag! Three. <laughs> it's a good chunk of his health, honestly. Is it... Do they hang out for, um... 24, uh, 24 hours? hours yeah. Oh, okay. Or, right. Till sunrise. Yeah. You get That's one cool. animal a day. Don't waste it. No, he did a good job. have three charges of it in every morning and resets, so... Yeah, it's a oh. shitload of animals. <laughs> Oh, what are we naming the badger for the next few hours? Grundle. That won't be confusing. Vermin. <laughs> grizzle. It's Grizzle. Uh, oh, go. Oh, Grundle okay. and Grizzle. Grizzle or Grizzle? Grizzle. Like, like Grizzle. Grizzle brand. But Grizzle's okay too. Like Miss Frizzle? Like Grizzle off of a grill? I basically just give him a cookie and be like, good, good badger. <laughs> Healing cookie. Like a yeah, so you can just like a pocket. Your <laughs> You're a safety service. officer, so you just have cookies in your pocket. That's what Snacks. You yeah, that's right. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, adorable. We have advantage against fear, by the way. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you tell the badger. Because I'm so oh. supportive. Eat. Right. Well, uh, after a thorough search of the knolls, you don't find too much else, although they did have some coin between them uh you find roughly 14 silver pieces worth of copper pieces so 140 copper Blech. just a few shinies oh you can hold these uh, no, yeah yeah i can yes he did say copper not silver yeah, i said silver pieces worth of copper <laughs> I'm good. sorry copper pieces worth of silver hmm yes Actually, it's platinum. I'm just kidding. <laughs> one a tenth platinum of a platinum piece. piece. Yeah, they have just a red. <laughs> There's a bunch of Each platinum pieces that have been chewed on. <laughs> <laughs> they took chips out of them like they, they used to with, with actual like pieces of eight or whatever. Mm -hmm. and you punch the center out and then you melt that down and make new coins out of it. All right. Onward. Bristle. Bristle joins the, the crew. And you guys are, like, down here. All right. Uh, the mountain looms. It's time to journey into the spine of the world. Again. You've been here before. Oh, we... Yeah. Part two. Should we what? Is uh, it's the time of day looking like? Uh, well, you've been traveling for about six hours. Um, it's now the more difficult part of the journey. So it's it'll dark. probably be like two hours of going through these mountains. But yeah, it's probably dark by now, especially how early darkness gets. Dark. <laughs> well, maybe we can make camp in this less mountainous area. Around yeah. 
outside okay. the forest. Yeah, before before we enter. I don't want to just range. charge into the territory with exhaustion. Yes. Yeah, let's find a, a safe place. And then you we'll continue sledding off. through the valley until you reach a cleft between the mountains and decide to set camp there. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys make a survival check. Uh, I'll exhaustion activate. Can you oh. perception? Yeah, just trail off there. You don't, we don't need it. <laughs> no, barring inspiration for something. <laughs> yeah. For whomst? Oh, probably for the person who already rolled survival. The person who already rolled the Oh, I didn't know if it was group survival or not. <laughs> Is it group survival? Sorry, I was yawning. Because um, we're Shame. doing a long rest. So, um, yeah. it's not necessarily a group one. It's mostly to find a good location to camp. Um, you found a place that's fairly nestled uh, where your trail of smoke uh, that you leave overhead from your campfire probably won't draw too much attention or unwanted Actually, eyes. I don't know how to make a smokeless campfire. <laughs> well, you can dissipate it a bit, but you it's can't fully get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, you, you've made a fairly good camp. Um, your rations. Eat your rations. You can also attempt to go hunting during this time, if you'd like. Yeah, I'm going to have Grizzle assist me in finding, I don't know, the root things. What are they called? Truffles? Sure, you can forage for... Uh, yeah, it's just outlander forage. It's up to five people worth of food, so... Yeah. Oh, right, you just have it as an automatic thing? Mm -hmm. uh, and Grundle, too, I believe, right? Oh, yeah, I can help him. Oh, not that one. Well, do you do you have the Outlander featured Grundle? Is what we're asking. E oh, um... it's the background. Yes. Okay. Well, then uh, you can find enough food for like ten people as you go and find plenty of uh, mushrooms that are nestled beneath a few pine trees, and you find plenty of useful herbs. You find plenty of well, uniquely edible dung. Um, oh. Yeah, it's it's perfectly healthy and it actually tastes pretty piney. Um, you guys, kombucha. yeah, it's a it's a common we call it a we call it like caviar of the spine of the world. <laughs> okay. Mm. Whatever you think, we call it mountain truffles. <laughs> we call it call it mountain truffles. Mountain truffles sounds better. You can keep yeah. your hands warm with the reindeer scat. Ugh. Either way, you're able to easily mix together plenty of uh, vegetable food for the rest Jungle of your companions. Sea. Even in this uh, wintry land, which would have probably halved that amount. So, it's enough for you guys to eat. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. You guys oh, settle I in for the night. I that to my character sheet somewhere. It's like, I got two of the features for Outlander, be... and neither one of them includes the if you go to the top of your character sheet, if you're looking at the roll twenty one, it should be like where your name and stuff is. Hit that gear, it'll go to another little tab. Yeah, it must be somewhere else. It usually shows background I'll fix up it there. Later. Uh, okay. So, let's see if there are any encounters tonight. Were we doing watches? Because I wanted to do a watch. That's true. Watch. Would you guys like to I do would a like watch? To watch. No, what would you like to watch? Just a few watches. Stars. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that'll stream in the Man Discord, Man, but it. we can try. <laughs> Streaming just the outside. <laughs> you just have a camera that points straight up. I'd watch it. I I'd know watch. you would. Guaranteed it, guaranteed it exists. I, I sat in front of like a fucking 35 foot a live foot stream of the night sky somewhere. fish tank, so yes, I'll stand and watch sky. And watch... Guy. 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 Some guy. Guy. Well, whoever takes first watch, I'll have Crystal help them. Uh, I'll probably take first watch then, because I also have exhaustion. Crystal got you. Yeah, exhaustion's right. not going to go away until we finish this rest. I saw you had a special connection with the badger, so you can keep him company. <laughs> Not bad. At least it's 14, right? I'm persuaded. <laughs> Hold on a second. So, what is the order of your rest besides Venric being first? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take the next watch after Venric. I'll take third. 
I'll go last. Okay. Why not? And then Vilma is getting the beauty rest. Uh, yes, sir. If if I'm not needed, I will definitely. It, get if my each of you rest. takes a two-hour watch, then you can finish your rest in ten hours. Would I? You wouldn't need up? to. Okay. You would finish your rest technically in eight hours. Congratulations. Thank you. And I we could do fifteen-minute watches on a cycle, and then we all don't get any sleep. Mm. <laughs> no REM sleep allowed. No, oh, no. <laughs> right. Oh, actually, you would need to do that if we do cycles of that. It, it, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, oh, did Fenric, Fenric, did you want to cast any spells at the end of the night? I mean, Badger. Ceremony's not going to do too much. <laughs> I, I don't know if you had anything. No, I didn't Did really find anything it? that would be helpful. Like, protection from good and evil is, like, on the moment. Right. Yeah, before we end, how long was would that last? Um, protection. Protection from good and evil? Ten yeah. minutes or so. Yeah. Okay, so, if we find the entrance before then. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, who was following up, Venric? Nephros? Yes. Okay, Nephros, uh, oh, during your watch... What was Sorry. that? Yeah, yeah, no, keep keep going. I just, uh, I got my, like, uh, roll 20 reset or something, so I just had to reopen my character sheet, but I'm back in, it's fine. Perfect. Because we need you. Oh roll save. Nephros, make a perception check. While you're on that watch. You hear rustling in the trees nearby. You hear a few twigs snap. You grab at your daggers and rapier, ready to strike at anything that comes by. You think that there's something there in the pine trees. You catch a glimpse of a shining yellow eye. Uh-oh. Before it turns and disappears. Uh-oh. There's oh, some sort of good. beast in the woods. Beaky. What do you do? I am going to uh, wake up Suvi. I'm going to be like, Suvi, Suvi, I need, I need your expertise. There's something out in those woods. There's a big yellow eye here. Just, just give it a listen. Can you hear Why anything? I'm not surprised. Do I have help? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you weren't technically being assisted. Do you have any other features that can add to this? Well, the blessing probably dried up by now, right? Yeah, it did. <laughs> you look around, but you don't see anything. Whatever Nephros was pointing at, it's gone now. Magic inspiration. Once again, too late. <laughs> Not just talking in a sleep. <laughs> I don't know. What do you? I think this is something is uh, sneaking around in the woods, and it probably thinks to make a meal out of us. Should we just get the rest of the group up, or should we just, you know, I'll keep watch and hopefully can get everyone up quickly if something happens. Leave it be, and they'll leave us be. Yep. Yeah. All right. Wake up, Gristle, and as assist Nephros. All right. Gristle wakes He's up. Disappear by dawn. Anyway, I might as well just make him work all night. <laughs> Gristle looks at you. What did you say? <laughs> work. Excuse me. What was that? Oh, it says Nephros. No, the thing you said after that. <laughs> I just said, I just said good night, Gristle. I'm gonna, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Here goes my mic, I guess. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, Gristle, protect Nephros. <laughs> All right, Nephros, your watch continues. I'll have you continue your perception check as you maintain an active eye. Okay. You have assistance from Gristle. Okay. Okay. Gristle uh, bristles their little hairs and starts snarling. There's something in the woods, but you just didn't quite see where it is. Whatever it is, it's probably the same thing as before. Honey badger gives a fuck. Oh. Seems that it came back. 
I'm sorry, I got a little water down the wrong pipe. <coughs> oh no. Oh shit, get back, fuck. <coughs> At least you didn't choke on air or spit. I feel Having like that's always time. embarrassing. Oh. Yeah. Never know, your life is suddenly at stake all at once. <laughs> yeah. I can't breathe and I'm water. drinking water. <laughs> Another drowning death. All right, well, I know Suvi to be a patient man, so I'm going to get him up again. Oh, is it back? Yes, this time, it's, it's, it's your badger found it. Just look where he's pointing. It's more with feeling. <laughs> anyway. Right, Suvi, this time you do sense something. Um, you follow Gristle's nose and you can see that there's something moving around out there you catch a glimpse of a pair of yellow eyes as well but you also hear something off to the other side there's more of them you count Don't one two up, maybe three he says what? time to wake up boys ah okay Vilma can stay asleep Get up. <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you. I need my beauty rest. <laughs> no, you you wake up the rest of your you wake yeah, up the we, rest of your crew. We walk into Vilma's palatial tent. Yep. <laughs> Vilma Vilma travels like Isma. Yes. Exactly. Oh, Correct. Yes. And Suvi with the tent is just crunk. <laughs> Suvi is crunk, and then hey, Vilma, have, like, there's uh there's, there's some beasts out here. You want I should take care of them? <laughs> Whatever you yes. want, Suvi. <laughs> Whatever you want, Suvi. Take care of it. Don't disturb me again. <laughs> With the uh, I'm pop on a torch, the I guess, face mask on. Certain shit. All right. Um, at this point, let's begin combat. You guys are awakened, although um, shields aren't attached or anything like that. Uh, as these creatures start stalking out of the woods, one comes, and then the others start soon after. It is a bunch of large white cats. You've seen them before. Prag oh. cats. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one chance to go away. Alright. Well, let's see. Let's do uh, initiative. I'm gonna roll for them all. Okay, Suvi, uh, you have the first go. If you'd like to try to scare them off, you can try. That's what we like to see, a 29. <laughs> Holy shit. We're borrowing these crags, and you're not going to give a shit about it. <laughs> Damn, a crag. I thought there'd be cats. Yeah, three. Yeah, three. Still half asleep, man. You. Even though you've lit a torch, they don't seem that upset by it. You start waving it around and kind of like, nah, nah. but I guess we're getting more capes. <laughs> you should show them mine. your cape. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think mine's a bear. All right. Um, well, I'm going to call that an action. Well, actually, lighting the torch would have been an action anyway. Uh, what would you like Gristle to do? Do his honey badger thing and just fight something three times his size, obviously. <laughs> All right, Gristle goes towards the nearest cat and goes rabid. Go on, get, get out of my hole. You find somewhere else to stay for the winter. <laughs> That's a fox and hound reference. Cat. <laughs> uh, oh, what is their AC actually? And check that. Thir Thirteen does hit. All right, what's gonna deal? Uh, they're not wearing armor. Fur. All right, that's five piercing damage to the nearest crag cat. Now, the nearest crag cat is going to attack Gristle. Oh god! <laughs> oh, oh we I groonies. Yeah, I could think Gristle's only playing common monsters on us right now. <laughs> uh, Gristle goes Spice down and disappears dead. into a powdery mist. Gristle, no! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody blow your mics. <laughs> I need yet another new mic. Suvi, I don't feel so good. <laughs> he was a brother to me. It's not fair. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the cat obliterates Gristle and then rushes towards Suvi. Um, you got five damage out of him. Yeah. Oh, man, we can 
Large creatures cannot be on a hex grid. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'll put them here. You gotta do the. Uh, you gotta do the. Occupy four or three hexes. Three I'm actually hexes. not sure because I don't use them enough. Uh, Grundle, it is your turn. All right. What us? Uh, Avenge Grizzle. Yeah. Oh, I meant to actually be the claws, but that but, works too. I yeah, guess. Yeah, jump the gun, <laughs> but because. <laughs> Oh, wait, I got one for this, too. Hold on. All right, Grundle yeah. bursts out his fight. bony claws and rips towards the, well, his brethren, really. Yeah, it's a sad day, but... That does no. hit. Roll for damn. Did it? Nope, didn't do it. There we go. A large creature occupies a triangle of hexes. All right, well, then I moved him onto a triangle, so that's okay. Okay, that is nine damage, a sizable portion, oh, and oh. a natural twenty. Oh my god, I realized I rolled a zero. Wow, well, it's gonna be some. Oh, did it, did it happen? It yeah, happened. Zero. Yay! Ugh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I clicked him, so it moved it. Okay, we can't snap. All right, that's gonna deal a total of sixteen, eighteen damage, which you're not gonna believe this. It's at. Oh, <laughs> No, it's at two hit points, but oh, okay. it was close. Uh, okay. Well, I have one more claw. Oh, yeah, because you have a bonus claw. claw. You go ape on this crag cat, and you tear it to shreds. Jesus criminy. Yeah, uh, the done. There is nothing but a flurry of fur and blood as you turn towards your companions. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I got. All right, another crag cat bounds towards Jeeves and Suvi, yeah, and it's gonna make one bite against Jeeves. He just immediately eat Jeeves. He just immediately eats Jeeves. <laughs> well, he deals Womp. six damage to Jeeves, which is not enough to kill him. Thankfully, I don't know how he did thirteen damage before. Okay, he just rolled pretty low this time. That's why. Okay. He's got Claws for Suvi. And that's probably yep. going to hit Suvi for four Don't damage. Nephros. Alrighty. You awaken. Awaken. Oh, oh. I am going to go and try and do a little pokey poke stabby stab on this kitty cat. Alright. As it's uh, nomming on Jeeves and pushing Suvi aside with its claw, you flank it around the back and swipe with your short sword. That's going to find purchase in its purchase. Snicker snack. And that snicker snack is going to do 13 Ooh, damage. Cold. Cold Oof. sneak. The old, yeah, the real cold sneak. Old 1, 1, and 2. Yep. Uh, Any other attacks? No, I only have one attack. Uh, you actually, yeah, you know, it's only a D4, but I might as well go for it. I did already get my sneak damage, but we'll do a little dagger offhand. All right, that's another hit. That's Ooh, another one damage. One. You never know; these guys keep ending at one or two hit points. That's right. Vilma. Uh, fuck it. Go, thank you. Uh, I'll just attack this one next to me. All right. Uh, duh. That is a miss. Go away! <laughs> Do you Frederick, okay. Frederick, hit him! I'm working on it. Kitty. I'm tired. Good. All right, if that's it for your turn, Vilma. Yeah. I'm just gonna karate chop the air. Go away! Hit him, Venric. I'm at zero. <laughs> Venric very much woke up, and like half of his beard is like pressed to. His and then the other half is like pointing off in a random direction. It's like, yeah. The chronic gnome been there. Head. Gnome is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Venrix just like kneeling on the ground, like feeling around as if they're looking for their glasses. Where's my shield? Yeah. <laughs> I dropped my shield. I can't I fight no without my shield. <laughs> All right. You're gonna have to. Jeeves is gonna do what he does best and immediately brew some tea and throw it at the nearest cat. They're pretty dexterous, but that misses. That's gonna do. What do we need oh. to do next, right? That you can crit on that. Because <laughs> there's no rules. Reverse. 
Yeah, reverse crit. He got a natural one. Uh, that's ten damage. Ooh, that's the best you've done with that. Wow. <laughs> uh, Jeeves, I mean, to be fair, it was in, like, uh, Jeeves was in its mouth, so he kind of took some hot tea. Take this, scum! And pours the tea, like, into the crag cat's eyes. It hisses and drops Jeeves and back battles. Finally, this crag cat uh, is looming over Vilma, and it doesn't really see Venric in the white snow and sleeping on the ground still. Um, so it's gonna go and attack Vilma with at least a claw. It swipes at Vilma, dealing 11 slashing. Ooh. That's a bad kitty. He did not listen. And he's gonna bite Vilma. He's gonna this one's bite. dogpiling in spite of its cat nature. Yeah, just keep rolling like this. <laughs> For four damage. Yeah. Ah, bad kitty! <laughs> Benric, it's your turn. <laughs> I was sleeping. I'm going to move through and go Oh, you're abandoning me? <laughs> I, right. I woke up and I looked at the one closest. The one I thought was closest. It swipes at okay. the crack. You were five feet from me! <laughs> it swipes at <laughs> Benric. I was facing the other way. And deals, oh, okay, I didn't. <laughs> it swipes at Benric and deals four slashing damage. Rude! Fenric! <laughs> I'm working on it! <laughs> what do you mean? Fenric <laughs> jumps away in, uh, in fear, I guess. Gotta go take a leak. I'm just, I'm just swinging. Swinging, swinging wildly. wildly with eyes still half closed. Yeah! yeah. The last hits. There's we... sleep in my eye. Uh. I mean. I, I did Bardic Inspiration, yo. <laughs> oh, alright, let me do a d6. Or no, d it's a d8. d8, yeah. For at least the first okay, one. Yeah, the first one does hit. Go for damage. Would you like to smite during this long rest? Uh, will I get it back? Yeah. Yeah, you I'm gonna finished smite. finished the long rest yet. Yeah. Get that rest casting. Boo. Boo. It's only an extra nine damage. Boo. Uh, which it's is gonna do... 14. Please that, kill it. Is that 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine and five. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah nine and five plus the seven. Well, no, the seven. No, no, the seven, seven is just from the crit oh, yeah. option. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I, normally I catch that. It was because it was two things up, so I assumed it was from the last one. Um, oh, I catch you. And that's fourteen damage, which is enough to do this crack cat in. You go in. Hey, I helped. Whacking wildly. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big lady. Just uh, hold it off. Big Ow. lady. Right, Suvi top of the round. There's one crag cat left. It is looking less enthused about this now that its companions have gone. I'm uh, leap over the campfire and chop at him. <laughs> Bad <laughs> kitty! Hat. Can you that gel now? Natural 20. Bad kitty! Wow. Just roll that too, why not? So... Get to roll another. Alright, that's a hot 15 damage. Which is yeah. al almost half its hit points. Alright, follow through with the hand axe too. Electric Booglax. That's gonna hit for Electric seven Booglax. slashing. Yeah, now it's very bloodied. Uh, blood staining its fur and the snow beneath it. It definitely is turning to retreat. So I got a torch in one hand and an axe in the other. Can I whack it with the torch too? Uh, you can do an offhand attack with the torch. It would be an improvised weapon, so it would just be strength. Uh, probably the wrong thing to do. Anyway, it's fucking 10, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't end. Uh, okay. Now, Grundel. Grundel runs towards the Craig Cat, oh. eager for blood, swipes at the creature. And that's going to, you're not going to believe this, put it to one. Yeah. On. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Second attack swipes at the limping crag cat. As it tries to escape, Grundle drags it in. Come to Papa! And stabs it in a vital area where the crag cat dies instantly. Grundle's a Papa now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grundle. I oh, lay thee to rest, me. sweet cat. Good job, Grundle. Request got in pace. Yep, you killed him painlessly. You two are the most useful. That's for sure. I'm what happened to you? My time with me. I, I got I got bit by a cat. 
you know how it is. Uh, I can get infected. Let me get that for you. <laughs> can I, you get this for me? I, I walk what? over and I pat you on the thigh, like yawning, like, oh, you'll, you'll be fine. Fucking... Tears to dice. HP. That one. Oh. There you go. Nine. Oh. So you get I 19 total you NP. Yeah. Uh, HP. I'm completely healed. You're Thank welcome. You. I'm, I'm going to go lay back down now. Through your Good friend's night. support, uh, getting you through these, this trying time, Vilma, you feel a lot better about your you know, chances tired. of survival. Hey, you know, the last thing we did, the whole thing with crackheads, didn't we, like, skin them and we used the photos or, like, solve them or something? Maybe we should do I'm that tired, before we go back I mean, to bed. Let's just, let's just kick these into the woods somewhere and deal with it later. <laughs> that was probably worth it. Although it might attract more predators. Perhaps we should move them away. Yeah, don't gut them here. I'll drag them yeah, down five feet into the woods and leave them somewhere. All right, Suvi uh, takes them into the woods to distract from your campsite. You put out any remaining fire to just, you know, keep the rest of the night cold, but warms with uh, sleeping bags and furs and other things. The stress of battle. The stress of battle. The adrenaline will keep you warm throughout the rest of the night. That's right. There are some odd noises later at night, but they don't bother you. Probably some wolves scavenging at the crag cats that were left behind. They're content not to battle strangers. if they can just eat. Hmm. And the, about the crag cats, they won't eat something they didn't kill. It's true. But some other creatures aren't so picky. You guys awaken the next day with a long rest complete. Bye, Gristle. Oh, he's already gone. Bye. Oh, don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. It should have been me. No! <laughs> Gristle on the wind. Oh! A true, a true hero of a patriot. Sometimes I can still hear his growl. Okay. <laughs> should have named him guess. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you saw that Harrison. I don't care anymore. Oh, oh yeah. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. Oh, that's a starting gun. <laughs> yeah, it's a mic. I think we all have, have collectively seen that then, apparently. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Allie was trying to tell me about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it, it traveled throughout Twitter, I guess. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a bad fish. You guys... <laughs> that's the bad fish. You guys... Um, Gather up your stuff, you get the sled dogs strapped up together, and you start heading through the mountains once more. Your careful journey throughout the valley. With both of these, um, like, mountains at either of your sides, it's kind of a unnerving feeling having these things, these twin peaks, like, looming over you. Almost claustrophobic, in spite of how much space there is between each peak. Until you finally make it inside of region. I'll have you guys uh, make a survival check. Nobody roll goddamn dice. Nobody roll goddamn <laughs> dice. Okay, okay, hold back. Quick, go, do it. <laughs> I will particularly <laughs> inspire Suvi. It's too late. He already did it. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's okay. 17 is enough to succeed. Turns out <sighs> you didn't need screen. that high of a to I'm succeed it's standing out uh it is it was nestled inside of like a uh a sort of like cleft in the mountain peaks so it was a little difficult to come by but once you've passed a certain vantage point it's unmistakable and i can take us there now darth vader's headquarters oh god <laughs> Although I, I seem to have preempted this because this was made a while ago. There's whoop. That's not that's not a sled. Oh, Get that oh, out of here. Oh, oh, I missed it. Cut. Cut. <laughs> oh, cat. I missed it. Okay, what are these two dogs' names? Uh, uh, Ber one's Bernice. One's Bernice. What, what did I name the other one? Shit. Ugly pork, Bernice. Didn't the other one have a name already? I'll find it. Uh huh. Well, Night. we didn't. I don't think we named the one night. we just yeah. got, did we? Like, like right. a night. It was, it was night. night. That's, yes, that's right. I remember that. You're welcome. I remember night is right. Night Knight. makes right. Okay, there we go. Uh, we, don't, that's right. we don't need Big Hunk. I guess Venrix's a wolf right now. A fox right now. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> it must have been the from when I copied says, it a while ago. 
accidentally right. flock shifted in your sleep. We've had our own sleds this whole time. How, how liberating. Come on, Scrimblo. <laughs> on Scrimblo. On Russell. On, on Solly. On Jock. On Verami and Verald. On Bork and Skrunk. <laughs> and I guess Nephros gets Bernice and Knight because that's just where I put him. Anyway. The Knight of Bernice. Bernice. Beyond the snowy foothills, low-lying clouds obscure the icy peaks of the gargantuan mountains that form the spine of the world. Eventually, you get above the clouds and behold a sheer mountain wall rising more than a hundred feet before you. Carved high on the wall are rows of arrow slits with dim lights burning behind them and clanking sounds echoing from within. A narrow staircase hewn from the rock leads up along one side of the wall. Just here, like this distant, almost like a blacksmith, just muffled by the snow in the distance, but echoing through the stony cavern. Well, cavern is the, the walls. I don't know. Anyway. There's holes in there somewhere. Yeah, it looks friendly. It looks yeah, friendly. It's great. It seems Definitely. you found whatever was marked here by the Durangar, but we're going to have to figure out exactly what was here next time, because that's the end! Ah! It should have been me! Ah! <laughs> Russell, well, no! Russell! Thanks everybody that came out to watch. You can watch The Rime of the Frostmaiden as it continues every Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also watch our sister stream, The Dork Vision Stream, on Sundays from 9 p.m. to midnight. You can find my books on Drive Through RPG and other books on the DMs Guild. And you can support me on Patreon slash Noble Crumpet. I'm also now chatting on uh, Tuesdays. Um, around 8 o'clock or so for anybody that wants to hang out and watch me do art or do Woo. chat about D&D stuff. So, all that aside, Nerd. let's see you next time. Be sure to watch those badgers lest they fall prey to the cats of the crag. Good night. Wow. Good night. Crag. Why? Yeah, that was really mean of me. Sorry. <laughs>